I think we're good. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. How we doing? What's up, Syrinx? How are you? All right, we got a lot to do today. We have a lot to do today. Hey, Cash, how you doing? Just people doing things. Danny, thank you. Thank you for the resubs, guys. Uh, yes. Cyclone, absolutely, yes. Okay, uh, we're jumping right into it. We're jumping right into it. Today, as you see from the title, it is Victory Tomes and Death Pits. Those are two of the major uh, tasks I want to accomplish today. Uh, still working on the video. Getting things, getting things ironed out a little bit more. We got the lighting done in here. Got the signs up and stuff. I haven't had a chance to get to any redstone. I kind of watched a little bit of hockey last night, so I didn't get too much. Uh, the redstone's not in. No, the redstone is definitely not in. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, oh my gosh. We're not doing this again. The 1948. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, no, 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 no. We're playing Minecraft today. <laughs> that's, that's all that's happening today. That's all that's. <laughs> hey, this... No. Bad, bad chat. Uh, <laughs> Electra, thank you for the 200 biddies and Master Maylock, thank you so much. Did I tell her the number of subjects? It was a lot. Let's just say it was a lot. Um, Master May, like, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, so this room is done. We also did some other things. We got some of this action work. And again, you know, we're spoiling. We're spoiling the entire episode because that's what we do here. Uh, today, though, is uh, Victory Tomes and Death Pits. And I think you know what Death Pits are. Uh, so, and then tonight I'm hoping, I'm, tonight I'm taking off a of hockey, I'm not going to watch the games, and I'm gonna, just going to try and get all the redstone done. This room is a bit dark. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing, Zing. This room is uh, perfectly dark, we'll say. Thea, thank you for the biddies so much. Uh, this room is as dark as it could possibly be, and there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Did you watch the Kraken game? I did. I did watch the Kraken game, and I was very sad. Um, happy for the Kraken. I guess I don't have anything about the Kraken. I want the Avs to, I feel like the Avs are going to do good. I still like the Avs. Um, I think they're still going to win the series. Yesterday, six out of eight teams that were underdogs won. Not yesterday, but the first, the first, the first round so far, I think. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Um, Arctic Viking, thank you for the minis. Thank you. Super D, thank you for five months. Uh, is that the door to the forge? I mean, it could be. It could be. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> Okay, so the, the two things I want to do thing. One, we're going to do some armor stand magic. I want to do more of this. We have our first victory tome here for sale. Uh, and I want to get some stacks of other ones here. I want to get like a, a single one. And then I want to get a, a three stack here, like kind of fanned out. And then I want to get a, like a five stack fanned out. So it's gonna we got to do a little bit of armor stand action. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, probably adjust some of these prices here too. And then we're going to work on Eric Chieftain. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. We're going to work on the death pit uh, and share some ideas of how we're going to do this, uh, how we're going to kill the player to get them out of decked out. Uh, well, let's work on, let's work on the armor stand stuff first. Cause that's, uh, cause that's where we want to go. Uh, yesterday I had a question, will there be a black market? It won't be a random chance to get a souvenir at it. I don't think the souvenirs are going to be associated with the black market. The black market is basically a store in the dungeon, probably somewhere late level two or early level three. Uh, you will be able to buy things there for crowns that are better than you can buy at the crown store outside the dungeon, but you risk bringing crowns into the dungeon. We'll see that and that honestly might Let's face it, it's probably going to be what I'm calling DLC at this point, which means features added after the game goes live. <clears throat> probably yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Samurai Jack, welcome. Thank you. Okay, 
Uh, so these are the icons right now I'm using for victory tomes. It's just a book, and I think it's it's good enough. Well, I may change that art out later. I don't I don't know. I don't really feel a need to it. To me, it's fine. Right? What's the big deal? <clears throat> uh, where are you going to name the the beast? Nothing. Congratulations. Yeah, I was I was debating that, but honestly, master, like I'm kind of leaning back toward the uh, the frozen one. So and so was frozen to death while trying to escape decked out. Which I think is great. But I do like I do like the was killed by nothing, you know, congratulations. But I think I want to do the frozen one just because it's more on brand. The frozen part is great. Just like Etho was frozen to death while trying to escape decked out. Like, that's amazing. So I wanna I wanna try and get that one done. Um gonna take a little bit of work though, but I think I know how to do it. <clears throat> frozen one or the chicken exit probably i don't know that's a good question too that's the other thing we're gonna have to discuss when we get to it is already there's clearly got to be two separate drop areas i think um i think the only difference might be one of them has a, a hopper collection and one doesn't but they might die by the same way i don't know maybe there's a separate mob down there that kills that kills the the cowards and the, you know there's a name that but you know that mug's as big as my head yes it is luxie thank you for asking thank you for noticing <laughs> Coward style with magma cream. Yeah, you know I I could see, you know so and so was was slain by uh, cowardice or so, yeah exactly master yeah exactly something like that I could see. Uh, okay, so first things first, I gotta change these prices because I think I, I was actually doing a little bit of thinking and I think. I was so so here's the deal right you can buy frost and or victory tomes in different size batches the higher the batch quantity you buy the they get more they get cheaper right so right now it's 10 uh 10 frost embers for one 25 for three or 42 for six and i think i'm going to change a little bit of this and bring this one down so that it's more in line because if you can afford if people are buying these then these are just so obsolete and I kind of want there to be like, well, all right, I'll pick up an extra victory tome or something like that. Uh, what are victory tomes? What are victory tomes? What are victory? <laughs> I suppose I should explain that part. <laughs> what are victory tomes? Explain. Uh, okay, victory tomes are. Let me see if I can explain this. <clears throat> They're the way that the game. Is, and again, this is all going to be in the video, and you know, spoilers. Uh. Victory tomes are the way that you score points and we determine the winners of overall decked out winner. The way it works is there's going to be uh, phases to the game, probably one week. A phase will probably be one week, I think. Um, so basically a phase will you know, begin and end every Sunday night or something like that. <clears throat> the idea now is the players can come in here uh, and they've, they've they got their stack of frost embers that they've just got from the dungeon. Uh, when did I turn into a blue flame? Oh, you're applying to cash. Um, they've got their stack of frost embers now, right? And they're going to have all these cards presented to them that they can buy that are going to be tasty, juicy, sweet. Or they can buy victory tomes, okay? If they buy victory tomes, they won't get them here. Again, just like the cards they purchased, they will go up to the barrel up at the surface where their shulker box is returned. Um, victory tomes then can be take so victory tomes leave the dungeon. Uh, they can then be put into their barrel in their uh, into their locker rooms, as I call them. Uh, and then at the end of every phase, I go through and I gather up all the uh, victory tomes that were submitted. So when you put it, when you put any victory tomes in your barrel, they're automatically sucked up into a hideaway chest, um, cubby hole, whatever. Um, at the end of every phase, I go through and sweep through all the ch all those hidden chests and pull out all the victory tomes and tally them up for each player and sort them based on who submitted the most. Uh, and then that's how we determine the winner of each phase of decked out. And then the winner of the phases are going to be allocated points. So it's like, and these, these numbers might change still, but hypothetically, first place gets five points, second place gets three points, uh, third place gets two points, and then fourth and fifth will each get a point each or something like that. Um, so what this does is, uh, will there be different victory tones for each phase, like a different name or something or that you can roll over? Yeah. And you don't have to submit them right away. Dead Knight. You can hold on to them, whatever you want. 
Um, and of course, there's the Etho comment. <laughs> uh, but the idea now is it's presenting an interesting dilemma to the player, right? Do I buy cards for my deck and invest in the long term? Or do I buy victory points to attempt to win this phase of the game? Because remember, like early phases of the game, you know, the winner might submit, who knows, three victory tomes total to win the game, to win that phase. And they're going to get just as many points as someone who wins phase eight of decked out where 19 victory tomes were submitted. So it's all kind of like a, a give and take, like early game. One victory tome is actually considerable where late game, you're going to have to probably buy multiple of these to win. Is there a prize for winning a phase? So the, the phase winners based on how many points you got for the phase, the five, three, two, one, one. That's that scoreboard we have up in the great hall. If you remember with all the snow layers. So I will, after I tally up the phases and allocate the points, I'll adjust the snow layers and stack up everyone so that you'll see like that bar graph of score. Now, the reason we're doing phases and not just because like, I know some people are going to say either that's too complicated or why not just tally up the frost numbers they get or something like that. What I want to discourage is the player who rightfully so would say, oh, I'm just going to beef up my deck and get it, get it as good as I want it to be and then start worrying about points toward, you know, basically I'm just going to late play the, you know, get super powerful and then just kick in overdrive and make all the points. I don't want that. Um, so instead, like if you miss, if you, if you decide to go that route, you're missing the first many phases of the game, which are worth just as many points as the phases at the end. I don't know how many phases there will be. That will be based on interest in the game. You know, who knows? Um, but that's where we're at. So questions. So winning an early phase might cripple you later, but might also give you the edge overall in phase wins. Yeah. You know, it, it depends. And it's going to be the part that I, I'm not crazy about, but it's the way it is, is it's kind of like a silent auction. You don't know how many points you're going to need to put in to win. It's just, you just have to be more. I will though, at the end of the phase, I will post who won the phases and how many victory tomes they each submitted. So you can kind of get an idea of what it takes to win and stuff. <clears throat> Are you limiting runs just by keys? Would you say this version of deck that is harder than the last one? Absolutely, yeah. Feels bad spending Frost Embers on points that only give you bragging rights instead of cards you can actually use. Cardboard box, I mean, that's a good point. If you have no interest, and there might be people, right? I suspect there will be players that are just like, you know what, I just want to play decked out and have fun. That's great. You don't have to buy, you don't have to buy victory tomes. And that's what, and that to me is what's, is, is what's nice about it. So you, you only buy these if you're interested in winning the overall game. If you just want to play and build out a deck of cards and have fun, go nuts. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you want to win the game, you got to get a little bit strategic on when to invest in long term and buy cards for your deck versus when to uh, try to win the current phase. You know, do I do I think I have enough? Uh, do I think I'm earning enough frost embers this round and, and future rounds this week to uh, to, to win this phase? <laughs> Keys can be purchased for two ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Guys, Ram, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Humble, thank you. Soaring Leaf, Nutty Bird, welcome. Brand new sub. Matt Moss, 18 months. Stevio, thank you. Brace Drover, thank you. Tucker, Adorkable, thank you. Adorkwing Duck, thank you so much. And C, thank you for 17 months. Uh, okay, any questions? Have you decided on a system for the keys? I think I have, but I'm not ready to talk about it yet. It'd be great if you had a day or two downtime between phases where you update things, rebalance. What Update what things? I mean, a phase is a weak thing, so you kind of have downtime to do whatever you want. It's just a phase, yeah. I'm not sure if I will call them. If I stick to a week, I will probably just call them weeks as to avoid is guys to avoid the obvious question that everyone's already saying which is how long is a phase so that that term phase don't don't get stuck on that I, i'm probably just going to call it week one week two or something like that uh can top three winners each phase be rewarded a cosmetic trophy yeah doc that's a good idea that's a good idea in fact i might just do the winner we'll see because everyone will have trophies otherwise
Can victory tomes be traded? I suppose? I can't stop them. That's weird. Um, but I suppose they have value just like anything else. I could see someone maybe saying, hey, I'll give you this rare card for three victory, victory tomes. Something like that, maybe. Uh, will better cards be available in later phases or are they available at the start of the game? Right now, the plan is all cards are available at the... When, when we say available, they are in the game. Whether they show up is random each time you run the dungeon, but all cards are currently available at the beginning of the game. That's not to say that I won't be making new cards. I absolutely will be making new cards once the game is live, but there's that. <clears throat> just got here. What is a victory tome? <laughs> I just spent 10 minutes talking about it. I'm not going to repeat it all. You'll have to watch the VOD or the, or the next video. Does the shop have room to grow? Yeah, Dead Knight, there's like an extra four or five slots in each column already for, for extra cards. I think I currently have like 12 uncommons and like 11 rares, and I think there's like 16 slots in each year, so I think I'm pretty good with that. When is the next episode? Whenever I get to finishing, I'm, I'm working on it. It's already about 18 minutes long, so I might be able to finish it tonight, but I've got a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of redstone I got to do. Okay. What's up, Salad? How you doing? Uh, there are probably people who miss a phase here or there because they're so fast. Is there a catch up? Uh, I mean, winning more phases, right? If you, if you win a phase, you get more you get more points than if you get first place, you get five points or something like that, right? So that's how you catch up is to start winning. Um, there will be a catch up in terms of key distribution, though, I believe. And the phases are intentionally like a week long where I think it's going to be rare for a person to miss an entire week. Um, I mean, maybe if they go on like a, a huge vacation or something, but. I'm already, I was already debating making, <clears throat> I was already debating making the week, the, the phase is like five days, but a week is nicer just so that way I can say like every Sunday night or something like that. Who goes on vacations? I know, right? <clears throat> is there a reason the tomes are priced 10, 25, 42 respectively? Well, we're about to change that. Uh, but yeah, they're, they are cheaper as you buy in bulk as they should be. Uh, all right, where's my updated prices? I think I want to go... 10, 9, 8. So this one's got to come down to. So we're going to go. 3. Victory. Tomes. 4. 27. Frost Embers. So basically they're, they're 9 each there. And the, the savings aren't huge. And this one is going to be uh, five victory tomes for 45 frost embers. Uh, let's make these all yellow. Let me minimize this so I can see chat again. We're here. Okay. <clears throat> Bulk deals. Yeah. Wasn't yellow for treasure. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, what other color should I use? There's no, there's no real treasure up here, but I suppose. Did I, did I do something wrong? Oh, nine and nine. Okay. No, oh, everyone's angry at me. Hang on. <laughs> I did my math wrong. How to enrage the math nerds and when, when, in four easy steps. Uh, let's do 40. Uh, five. Victory tomes for 40 frost embers. Right now we've got 10, 9 per, and 8 per. That's better. Angry chat! <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to do another color, now's the time. So, suggestions. Cyan, I'm not doing cyan. We're using cyan's like our generic color everywhere. These are more. Do, 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 orange. Oh, yeah. I actually like orange. Orange it is.
and I had just the right amount. Yeah, orange looks good. All right, we're done. Orange it is. Okay, uh, let's see. And now what I want to do is, like I said, I want to get little stacks of these cars. So this is like, this is a, it's, it's floating on an invisible armor stand. I want to get basically that three times, but like for here, I want to get three of them fanned out. And for here, I want to get five of them fanned out. So this is going to take a little bit, but we'll get there. Well done, Syrings. Well done. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good color actually. Uh, okay, armor stands are down below, and actually I gotta get, what, three? I gotta get eight more of these cards, which... Uh, do, 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 I think they're up on the surface. Let's go up to the surface. <coughs> Not over here. Uh, and if we get these done, hopefully, uh, we will start working on the death pit. Nope. Thank you. I was talking the other day. It was fantastic. I had a great time. Sir, please no splat. Oh, did the music just stop? Interesting. Hello? Play the playlist? Sure. Okay. Uh, what's the death pit? It's the pit where you go to die. Of course. Uh, okay, now I think I've got, yeah, oh, I've got a bunch of them right here. They're called decked out coins, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't think the name of these matters. This this is basically like, what did I just pick up? This is basically, I used to have, I changed all the numbers of all the items and stuff like that. So don't worry about what these are called. <clears throat> did you like the d, &D movie? Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun to watch. It's not going to win any Academy Awards, but it was really great. What am I doing now? Hi, Ginger. We're working on uh, armor stand magic for the victory tomes. <laughs> the intellect of our scene. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> well, that's rude. <clears throat> uh, what about the coins already in the droppers? What coins in the droppers? Droppers where? Which level will the forge be on again? This one. Graced over it. Thank you. Is it too soon to recap on what victory tomes are? Yep. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, oh, did I leave all my armor stands down there? Let's go get them. Okay, I kind of like where that one is. I like its depth, it's centered. So I want to get the other ones basically right there. Uh, and that therein lies the problem, I think. We'll see if I can, uh, if I can do it. Uh, so, armor stand magic, everybody. We know this is riveting stuff. Uh, styles, show arms, put the book in, and then, and I gotta be consistent here in how I do this. Oh, can you copy it? Is that a thing? Hold on. Hold on. Break, break harder! What? armor stands it's so weird how they decide you can like crit an armor stand like five times it's like yeah no problem then you punch it twice and within two seconds and it's fine okay uh let me see here how do i where is this copy magic utilities did i just make magic and now Call Cleo, there it is. It took all of eight seconds for that to happen. <laughs> uh, nah. 
I think I probably still have to do this and put the book in. But now if I do utilities paste. Did, did I win? I think I just won. I mean, I got to get it in position, right? But that's good. I touched an armor stand, I know. Call Cleo! Yeah. Okay, this is a good start. That'll actually save a lot of time in the posing and everything. And now all I got to do is position it. So let's remember here now. So I, I'm just doing like nudging. Positive X. Nope. Nudge. Negative X. Okay, so we're back at zero. So we want to keep track of how many nudges. One, uh, eight. Negative. <clears throat> Turn gravity off first. Hi, Armor Stand. How you doing? Cool. I got to show it first. Let's see. Styles. Stand visible. Yes. Let's try that again. With this time with less gravity. Okay. We're experts, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Right in the middle of the armor stand. There we go. We'll do this. I think I still need to do the thing. For, what, out of curiosity, let's just see what happens. Utilities. Paste. Could I just skadoodle now? Oh, I can. Post skadoodle. Okay. And now we do. Why didn't the gravity copy over? That's the question. Right? Like. You would think that would be part of the properties. Uh, okay. Nudge. Negative eight. Nudge. Negative 16. Nudge. Negative 27. Nudge. Uh, whatever that is. Negative 35. Okay, we got to go back a little bit more. <laughs> Did I... <laughs> Nudge. <laughs> is my math wrong? That's, th that's 32. Okay. <laughs> I'm good at math. Right now it's 35 and now they're in line. All right. So the, the, it's negative 35 on the, uh, on the X let's go positive Z. Nope. All right. So let's go negative Z and zero that out. Let's go. Now we'll go negative three on the Z. That's pretty centered. Ideally, what I would do is have like a little bit of rotation to them. I'm not sure that I can do that. Let's let's do one more. I know it's not centered. Yeah, so we'll do a, a one on the Z. All right. So four is the center point. So negative 35 on the X negative. Was it negative or was it positive? Uh, negative four Z, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Wolf. Uh, okay. So that's all good. So that one's actually good. Now I just want to put one to the left and one to the right of that. It's also higher. Oh, it is right. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's nudge it uh, negative one on the Y. Still too high. Let's nudge it negative one on the Y. Okay, those look to be the same. All right, so negative two. Give me my summation. Negative 35, one more? I don't think so. Those are pretty, those are pretty even. Uh, negative 35, negative four, thank you. Fantastic. <clears throat> uh, and lock it. Uh, utilities, lock. Lock. Utilities, lock. Excellent, okay. Uh, let's repeat. Oh, actually, see, wouldn't it be nice if I could like, man, it's fine, I guess. All right. So we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do utilities. We'll do paste. We'll take a book. 
Stick it there. And now we do the nudging. Negative 35. Oh, hopefully. Oh, wait, if it's locked, it won't. Oh, gravity, 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 gravity. Right, thank you. Can I nudge a locked armor stand? I'm hoping not. Because I'm hoping there's not like a conflict on which one it decides to uh, modify. All right, so nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative eight. That's negative 24. Nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative three. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's do the Y's now. What was the Y? Negative two? Okay. And now it was negative four. So let's just do negative three on the Z. Let's try negative two on the Z. Yeah, I think I like that spacing a little bit better. And I'm, I'm not going to try and do the rotation stuff because I know that's because it's going to make it a nightmare. When we get over here, though, I will probably because this is basically stacked two Z's apart. I will stack these one Z apart. Oh, up one for variation. Uh, interesting. You could get a little bit of arc that way, I suppose. So if we put the left one and the right one lower by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So nudge Y negative one. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing with the other one now. There's going to be a Z, a Z fighting thing. Though. I'm not sure which one's going to stack in front. Autobot, thank you. I will, I will. <clears throat> Maybe rotate a bit. I just said I don't want to deal with the rotation. Because rotation doesn't get you what you want. Because when you rotate it, it doesn't rotate around the axis you think it's going to. It's going to rotate around a pivot point that's like... It's like if I try to rotate something in my hand and I say rotate, it's going to rotate around my elbow and it's going to it's going to do weird things. So I'm not going to I'm not going to deal with rotation. Uh, lock it. Yes. What does seal do? I forget. There's there's lock and there's seal. Dyro, thank you for the 942. Armor stands don't have a health bar. They instead break after two quick hits. Yeah, it just seems arbitrary. Yeah, thank you, Jiro. <laughs> ort, ort. <laughs> nice, Master. Nice. Icy, thank you for the raid. Okay. Uh, we go again. So far, honestly, I got to say, this is going quicker than I thought. I thought this was going to be a nightmare, as anytime I touch armor stands, it usually is. But so far, so good. Okay, uh, styles, gravity, no. Nudge, boom. Nudge, boom. Nudge, boom. Nudge, boom. And now... I'll go three, but I have a feeling I may. We'll see how. We'll see what these look like. So now I want to go <clears throat> five in the Z. All right, that should be even. Yep, I guess we'll do the Y, of course. Do one more in the Z. <clears throat> see what it looks like when we lower it down. Uh, y should be negative three, right? Okay. That would look better behind. Right. Is it one more Z still? Oh, because we did a gap of two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, one more negative one. That doesn't feel right still. Shouldn't the gap between that and that be? Oh, it's because we lowered this the Y. Let's try bumping it back more in the X. Feels eh though, right? I don't like it, just looks like a blob now. Because if you were gonna fan cards out, they would be progressively either forward or back. Like we have the left one is back, the middle one is on top of that, the right one should technically be on top of that. So let's 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 invert that. Just to see. Oh, but then we get this though. 
which for, for some reason just doesn't look right. Maybe if they're all in the same Y. We could do a slope maybe, yeah. So instead of going down, up, down, go up, up, basically. All right, so let's go, let's go nudge Y3. Too much. Nudge Y negative one. That's not bad. It's at least consistent now. What do we think? Is that good? Too diagonal? It is very diagonal, yeah. Curious what the hold on, let me let me do negative one on the Y. Those are those are the same height, so there's no difference. I can't I can't do less of an angle. So I think that's what we're gonna do for that one. Um I'm not sure what we're gonna do for for five though. Yeah, let me lock this one. Should I try rotations? One high in the center, two lower on either side, maybe. If I do the same pattern for five, I feel like it's gonna be, they have to be a delta of five difference on the Y now, which is gonna be a huge difference. I don't think that's gonna work. So I think I either need to go straight or bring in some rotation or go with a go back to doing like a V pattern. Let's get some in there and see how it looks, though. like where'd they go i lost them <laughs> okay i wish i could like batch a bunch of commands together and then reapply them like all these nudges and stuff i just want to be able to save them up as like a queue and batch nudge gravity i don't even have to look at chat to know that everyone's yelling gravity Then I still lost it. It was already lost. Cool. Show visible, yes. We tried. I know, I know. Luckily, it's not that expensive to redo. Okay. Utilities, paste. Utilities, style, apply gravity, no. Book in the armor stand. Now we nudge. Nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative eight. These are going to look so good when they're in there. I'm excited. Okay, now I got to do three more still, I think. Nudge, negative three. Uh, and then what was it? It was four, right? Nudge. Was it, was it four on the, on the Z and then two down on the Y, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's a good start. Let's get it. Let's get the second one in there now. Lock the first one. Ah. Let's see if I can still lock it without causing problems. Utilities lock. Uh, I'm not sure which one it locked. We'll see. Nudge. Negative eight. Nope. I locked it. I locked the one I'm on. All right. Let's plus eight that one. Uh. Whoa. Why is that?
Oh. I thought I unnudged that. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, now that that one's locked, I should be able to lock this this one, right? Nope. I hate this. Is that like you can't look at it because it swaps the book? What if I do over here? Uh, let's try this. Lock. Locked. Okay, good. And now we want to do utilities. Unlock. Okay, good. <clears throat> Back to nudging. No idea where I was in the nudge zone, but we're nudging. All right, looks like I'm at the negative three now. Okay, uh, nudge three on the Z. Negative one on the Y. Negative one on the Y, okay. So I'm thinking we just do this. Straight line, just like that, right across. I mean, we gotta fit five of them. An X pattern? You can't really see it. It does look a little crowded, yeah. Three below, two up top. Interesting. Or I could do... The rotation would look really good. Should we try the rotation? I don't want to try the rotation. Ah, let's let's just let's just experiment. Uh, right arm. Oh wait, that's not what I don't want. Uh, I don't know how to do this. How do I rotate like just a bit? Is it pose adjust? Aha, okay, right arm. Well, I think I want to rotate along the x-axis because that's the one that goes into the screen. So right arm, rotate negative. Yeah, say so once you do that, it's just bam, garbage. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Uh, pose is just right arm. So, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. I think we're gonna keep them this way. Let's try maybe the, the the W pattern, like two in front, three in the back. But two in the front are on the same Y, and the three in the back. It was forty-five degrees. Can you go in like two degrees? All right. So then let's say which one. These are gonna be. Let's lower these on the Y. Let's see. Nudge. Negative one on the Y. And I kind of want to unlock the other one now because I don't want it at that height. How do I unlock the other one? I mean, I know how to unlock, but... Oh, I guess when I do unlock, it'll only look for ones that are locked. So let me get the... This is going to be weird. Okay. Uh, let's do target. Where's the target thing? Target. Where's the thing that shows me what the target's going to be? Check target. All right, so it's going to do the bottom one. How do I... Well, then let's see. What if we just do... We'll lock that one for now. And that, in fact, might be the one we're going with. So now if we do check target, it should be the top one. And we're going to nudge... Negative Y, and then we're going to nudge negative Z. Okay. And then I think we could put the three in the back behind that. We'll see. Uh, let me lock that one. Okay. <clears throat> Page one. Yeah, I got it. Uh, utilities, paste, style, high gravity, no, book, go, nudge, negative eight. This stuff is so tedious. It's such a great feature and I love doing it, but 
Man, it'd be nice if there was an easy way to make this happen. Uh, okay, we gotta go three more on the X. <clears throat> and now, let's see, well, let's get it centered first. So, four on the Z. And it should be right between those two cards. Whoops. Crap, did I just do an X there? I think I just did an X. What was the last one I just did? I think I need to undo it. Was it correct? I did relative. Oh no, I did this one. So do I go... I think that's what I wanted, right? Okay. Nudge Z negative one. Okay. And that looks like it's right between the two. So let's pop it down. Two on the on the Y. That's probably too low. Let's kick it back up. And now do we want to try and get one on either side of that? I think. Okay. So let's lock this guy. It's kind of fun. Utilities, paste, styles, apply gravity, no. What a, what a, what, oh, okay. Nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative eight. Nudge, negative three. Nudge Z. Uh, let's try the Y. Now we're probably going to kick that Z back over, but. Yep. Let's try kicking the Z back over. What if we had that, but another one to the right? <laughs> this is so tedious. It's really fun. Whoops. What did I just do? What did I just do? That was weird. I didn't hit F5. There must have been another key bound to it. Uh, last one, bottom left. Problem is, if I get too many in there and I want to move individual ones, it's going to be a pain. <laughs> I know, right? 2,500 people watching me nudge. We'll be done with this in just a second. I did not hit F5, Grim. That's why I was confused. It is going to be a nightmare, didn't I? I don't know. That's why I kind of want to get these four correct before I move the next one in. What do, how do we think this will be if we just have one more in the back row to the right? Fan out a bit. I mean, I could, I could nudge to the left more. And we could even go, we can go up too, if we want. So I like really go with the fan out. What if we go... And then the middle one was nudged up one as well. There's no way to, there's no way to un, there's no way to, I'd have to like lock them all and then, yeah. There's no way to like unlock the one you want. Back down. I, th I think this will be fine. Let's just get one more in there. It's, it's going to have to be fine. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Utilities lock. I think, I think it'll be fine. It'll look good, yeah. Good enough. So this has got to go like 
five or six on the Z. That might be right, right there. And then uh, let's see, negative one on the Y. That looks weird though, right? Is that the right position first? I think it's got to go one more to the Z. Yeah. Feels weird. It's the right spot, but I feel like it'd be better if it was behind this card right here. Can I can I push it? If I push it back one on the X, I'm sure it's going to look stupid, though. Yeah, now it just gets like lost back there because it needs to be between those two cards. Like I need to go back by like half an X or something. Bottom two are too close. Well, I don't think that's going to change at this point. Move the other one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to move the middle one at this point because the only way to select the middle one would be to lock this current one and then hit unlock and hope I target that one. Done. This is what I had before. To be honest, that's good enough. I kind of feel like it is too. It, it looks like a pile of cards or a pile of books. It's not the greatest, but it you know what? It's not worth me spending another 20 minutes on this. So done. Use relative X. Let me see if I can unlock it. Hold on. What's the check target now? Oh, none because they're locked. Now let's see if I do unlock. Nope, now it unlocked the wrong one. We're done. We have, we have a cluster of things that I do not want to touch anymore. <laughs> yeah, minimum viable. Okay, th honestly, this looks fantastic, right? Like the lighting in the room, like this is like this glow over here. I think this looks great. One victory tome for 10, three victory tomes for 27, five victory tomes for 40. It's looking great. Looking great. Okay. Uh, we will put that there. Let's go. What do I want to do with this? Uh, I can go in there. Yeah. These back in there. Eyes away. Those away. Why? Oh, good thing I have arrows in my ender chest. That's a super important thing to have. Okay, we're done. All right, explaining victory tomes. Okay, I'll give you the, uh, for the future relative X, use the armor stance scale of X rather than a global one. Why would its scale of X be anything other than one? At this point, I never changed the scale to be, to be something else. Wouldn't I have to pre-scale it or something, Zing? Wouldn't five be worth 50? Yeah, it was if I, if I didn't want to provide a discount, but I do want to provide a discount. Okay. Uh, so real quick, victory tomes are things that you spend frost embers on. You decide between do I want to buy cards for my deck for the long term or short term? Do I want to buy frost embers and submit them to the game every week? Every Sunday night probably will be the end of a phase or a scoring system. Uh, when players buy victory tomes, they can submit them to the barrel in their locker rooms at the end of the week. I will go through and collect them all up and sort them based on who's submitted the most victory tomes and based on who has the most they will be rewarded points towards decked out so these are ways to basically contribute to the victory of overall winning the game of decked out <clears throat> okay <laughs> what are victory tomes exactly default boy exactly <laughs> okay the left one could nudge down by one, even the rest. My inner mind is triggered. Yeah, things are triggered. Yep, I get it. It's not perfect. They're good enough, though. Uh, technically, I don't need a shulker box here. Uh, but it'll probably look stupid if I take it out. So let's leave it. Okay, we're done. We're done with phase one. Victory tomes, done. Good. Hermits just stockpile tomes to guarantee win a certain week. Yep. Okay, the death pit. Let's talk. 
let's talk here. We've got, let's just talk about the ideas first of what's happening, regardless of how they're going to die. I don't want to get into that yet. Uh, there's two ways to get into the death pit. There's the way of the cowardice here. If you, if you left the game and you do not have an artifact you hand in, the door here will never open. And therefore this is your path out. Like, why did you even leave the game kind of thing? And you have to fall down a hole and die. Uh, the other way out is after you've come in here, made your purchases, you're great, you're the hero, you're the champion. We need a sign right here that says something. We'll have to worry about that. Uh, and then you're going to come through this little bendy bendy action, unfortunately, and there's going to be another hole that drops you down. It's a nice door. Yeah, I taught Mumbo everything he knows. <clears throat> uh, there's going to be another hole that drops you down. Both of them need to kill you. The only difference is, uh, by the way, on that door, it's like, it's very interesting to see the difference, like... Mumbo is really more advanced, has a wider set of redstone knowledge than me. Like, I've always said my redstone knowledge is like, I use the primitive tools well, he knows a lot more tricks. And the redstone for this door used some tricks that I... I understand, I understand quite well, but I never think to use. He's got a, he's got a more diverse redstone skill set, which is impressive. So, kudos to him. Um... Anyway, uh, it's good to see other people's redstone because even as like, even if you think you're good at redstone, you look at someone else's redstone and it's always like, oh, that's interesting. That's probably the best way to learn redstone is keep looking at different people's redstone. Don't look at the same person's redstone over and over again. That's what I would say. Uh, does decked out to still have the building artifact set? No, there's no sets of artifacts. Okay. So they got to fall down two separate holes. The reason they need to be separate is because one hole, the one coming from this direction, I need to collect their items, sort them, pull out things that they can take out out of the game. And I think right now it's only crowns. Uh, coins I'll probably also pull out so that I can auto upgrade them. So coins and crowns need to be filtered out. Everything else is, is thrown away or thrown into a barrel just to be returned to the game. Um, the other one, I don't bother sorting out. Whatever you drop down, it just rots. I don't care. <coughs> uh, they should both be killed if we had a different death message. That'd be great. Don't know if it's necessary, but it'd be fine. Um, I did have an idea that I want to run by you guys, but I don't think it works for reasons that I will explain. I wanted to drop them into a pit. Uh... This would, this would forego the whole cleverness of having a fun death message and everything like that. But, in, you know, giving up that, it drops them into a room, right? And they take enough damage where they have half a heart or something like that. And it's a room that's like, maybe it might be, it might be this size. I don't know. It might, a room maybe this size. And it's got two, ra it's just wide open, like a rectangle or a square. And it's got two ravagers in it. And that's it. Right? So you're you're going to die. There's nothing you can do. You're going to die. However, I thought it would be great if there was like a doorway on the other side of the room that only the player could fit through. And if they somehow, and I want to make this like ridiculously hard, like I would expect no one to ever be able to do it, but, and maybe I put three or four Ravagers in here. I don't know. We tweak it so that it's, it's just stupid hard, but the player can see that there is an exit out the other side. And if somehow they get out that exit, then they get a trophy. I survived the, the decked out death run or something like that. Oh, ominous, ominous. I think that would be great, right? Cause now it makes even death fun, right? Is it a bit confusing? Absolutely, it is. But now death isn't just like, okay, I gotta go fall down this hole and wait. Da, da, da. Now it's like, I'm making it this time. We're gonna do it guys. You know, like they have one final challenge, even if it's against all odds. It's it's just, it's like another little mini challenge at, on their way out the door. Downside, let's just go over the pros and cons. The fun is, it's cool. It gives them a little extra challenge. Uh, I could get two more Ravagers down. The, getting the Ravagers down there might be a little tricky because just because it's through a lot of solid rock and stuff. So I'd have to dig a little bit of a hole and stuff. The cons are, it would just say, you know, so-and-so was slain by whatever the Ravager is called. <clears throat> you know, so-and-so was slain by the decked out gauntlet, it could be called. 
something like that. Like I don't, I don't know what the what it would be called. Um, no, not cowardice because this is not cowardice here. This is this is for people who, and that's the other side too, is people who took the coward path and the victory path would have the same message. There would be no. So that is a slight downside. There's no way to insult the cowardice people. I don't think too many people are going to leave decked out without an artifact, though, honestly. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, power shouldn't be a word of victory. They, they should just, yeah, they, they, they could have a simple death message. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, so you're right. The people in the coward room, but I'm not going to go through a whole separate thing for the coward room. I don't I don't know what's going to... Maybe they'll just land on a cactus and, you know, so-and-so was pricked to death. <laughs> and that's it. I don't know. Maybe we'll worry about that, but it's to me, it's not worth that much time on the cowardice thing because I really don't think anyone's going to leave decked out without an artifact. Why would you? It feels weird. <clears throat> the thunder. Uh, so... That's option one, okay? I like it, it's fun. It does take away the death message thing and it's more work, potentially a little bit more work. I don't know. Let's just put a pin in that one, right? And call that option one. Option two is we do the frozen by thing. So the message is so-and-so was frozen to death while, while trying to escape decked out. Fantastic death message on brand, right? The idea there is they would drop down the death hole probably land on an iron bar two blocks adjacent to them would be a skeleton named decked out who would shoot them still not killing them but it would be enough to boop them off the iron bar and they would fall into a line of powered snow powdered powered snow <laughs> they would fall into a line of powdered snow and six seconds later they would take a couple of ticks of death and it would say so-and-so was frozen to death while, while trying to escape decked out. Both are cool, but they're different, right? They're different. One is, in my opinion, a little more fun for the player. Um, number two is more flavored to the game, I guess. I, I, the perfect message is appealing, but I am slightly leaning toward the the Ravager mini game just because I feel like it's more fun for the player. Death doesn't become a chore because after you run the dungeon twenty times, falling down that hole and, and it's saying you know so and so was frozen to death by de trying to escape decked out. <clears throat> we can do a poll if you want. Yeah, I don't know that I'll listen to it, but it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, let's do a vote. Option one: Ravager Death Run. Option two, frozen to death. Genesis or someone, could we, could we get a poll? Don't type in chat, it doesn't do anything. There's no reason to type in chat. Wait for the actual poll. There we go, poll is up guys, vote. DLC. I want to vote both. I know. I kind of do too. Like, uh, her fighter. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of the same. Like, they're both good. They're both good. I can't do both. The Ravage Room is cool, but produces more problems. What what problems does it produce in a yo? Chat is going crazy right now. I can't keep up. <clears throat> I can't keep up. <laughs> I cannot read chat right now, guys. How will they get out if they survive? They they don't. They die. <laughs> uh, I can't read anything. Oh my gosh, it's too much. Freezing is for the cowards, maybe. That's a lot of work for cowards. So I got to go get a skeleton, bring it down here. All that stuff. 
We're, everyone's very excited. I know. When chat's too, when I can't read chat, that's a good sign. <clears throat> Ravage room leads into first. Oh, there's the other issue. And this was the big one. I should have mentioned this before we did the poll. Here's the technical reason why the Ravager room is difficult is because how do I collect their bits when they die? Right? I could have all the hoppers underneath the room or a minecart moving down there or something. Maybe. I mean, it's doable. Don't say LA. I'll, I'll reach to the internet and throttle you. But hopper minecart's probably the best way. But then I definitely can't send the cowards down there. Have them drop their items off. If I was having them drop their items off, I wouldn't be killing them. That's the whole point of killing them. Ravagers can hit through gaps. Yes, yes, they can. Yeah, I was thinking like a dispenser with water buckets or something to push it to one side. Like if the room was only 17 blocks wide. I could have water buckets from the outside push in so that all the items are in the middle column. Lowest viable product. I know, I know, Gravy Lord. Lowest viable product is dropping in a hole and they just die. But th there's an opportunity for this to add a significant amount of fun to the game for not much effort. So I think, I, I don't know, Hopper Minecart? Hopper Minecart's doable. It's not a problem. It's, it's a little bit more work. I mean, I feel like half hour 45 minutes you have that you have that banged out probably not not even oh hopper minecart only holds five items true so maybe the water call the trophy i survived the gauntlet yeah something like that sounds good xp i agree isn't hopper minecart less reliable i don't i think they're pretty good i haven't seen any cases of hopper minecart stopping or anything lately what will they have on them? Uh, potentially a bunch of things once we start getting into like legendary crafting items and stuff. They could have like 10 or 12 different items. Uh, but with the water, how do you know when they're dead? Right, how do I know when to release that water? I mean, I could put a, a, a skulk sensor and a shrieker or something so that I know when they enter the room, but... Or a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, I could have I could have a skulk sensor trigger a shrieker, watch the shrieker with an observer trigger, the, and then the observer triggers the water buckets to come out. Oh yeah, and I could I could trigger it on entity dying. You're right, good point. Why not let the items despawn? The the whole point of this is I have to collect their coins and crowns so that I can return them to them. <clears throat> okay. Frozen is easier. Yeah, it is. I agree. It is. But I think we're doing the Ravagers. I think only, the only hard part about the Ravagers is getting them into place. And I just think that would be great to like have that. And if someone ever makes it through, it'll be fun. We're not using a lace. Frozen is the minimum viable product. Well, like I said, dropping in a hole is the minimum viable product with a hopper under it. Is it really that impossible? Will it actually be fun? They need to think that there's a chance. They need to think that there's a 1% chance. And maybe there is. Maybe there's a 5% chance. Who knows? It's really not about a chance. It's about how... It's probably really like, where are the wardens when you walk into the room and stuff like that? The Ravage room will be iconic. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So we're really at this point having two totally distinct drop areas that are not merging, right? What if they're wearing armor? Oh, good point. If they have that card, if they have that suit up card, they'll have diamond armor and stuff, which means they could survive three or four hits from a Ravager. And then it'll, it'll, it'll cheese it for sure. Playing around it? How? I can't, I can't take off their armor.
Well, I could. Here's what I could do. I, the fall damage, the initial fall damage. Yeah, duh. Easy. The initial fall damage leaves him at one heart. Doesn't matter if you got armor on that or not. If you get hit by a Ravager, right? So you're going to fall down, splat, one heart. And now you're in a room with Ravagers. You can have all the armor you want. One hit's going to kill you. <clears throat> they don't have they don't have any boots or any, with with uh, feather falling. They can bring food. I mean, sure, I guess if you want to try and eat while the Ravagers are chasing you, it's not going to be a big room. They might not be full health. Yes, I know, Master Baylock. That's a good point. I had thought about that. And short of me getting a regen beacon in here and all that garbage and everything, I think we just say if you are not full health, you're probably just going to splat. <clears throat> Later, Zing. Um, so I, I think that, right? That's the only I could get a regen beacon going here to ensure their full health before I kill them, which is weird. Um. I don't know. That's something we can add later if it's a problem, but I don't think. I think most... There's probably be quite a few, pay, few people that aren't full health, actually. But anyway. But you're right. That might just add to the thing, too. Like, hey, hey you know, if you want a chance at passing the gauntlet, you got to end decked out with full health. I can see people right before they take the plunge down, they eat all their food, you know? People will have spare food. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's uh, let's cheaty cam here and see what we're looking at. Uh oh. Cool. So we got water and lava to contend with. It looks like I could dodge the lava. If I start somewhere around here, I could die. Hey, have a few zombies down there. Creepers and everybody. I could dodge the lava, go through the water and land like here. I think random tunnels. I think that's what we do. We land right here and then the room will be out the way I'm facing somewhere. I think I could use the lava. I mean, sure. It's not hard to get lava. Okay. So the real question is where is where is the drop hole? Given that they don't need to merge up now, like, honestly, this one could be, this one could turn right and be over here. They don't even need to be close. And it's probably better if they're not. Does this need to, I think this needs to turn. Or does it? Oh, this doesn't look like this is part of anything. Why did it, why did I? Oh, I turned because, I don't know why I turned. All right, let's just put it right here. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys were here yesterday when we uh, we had the soul flames here. The soul flames are gone now because redstone reasons. I needed the space for redstone. Makes me sad, so I just put the lantern there. Oh, well. <clears throat> uh, good question asked. Will the room be loaded after they die? Yeah, they're they're right above here. They're right above. They're essentially right above here. A couple couple chunks over, but no big deal. Okay. Uh, so I want to get, I'll bring more of these guys, the, uh, black, the smithing tables over and let's just say right about here. Arbitrarily. Let me just double check. Yep. We can go through this water and go right through. Okay. Uh, and with that said, I know we're, I know there's no lava below me. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hit that water. Do I care enough to make this hole be consistent or am I just going to leave it natural? Camera hacks! I know, I'm such a cheater. I, I think we're just going to leave this natural. Technically, I would be right if I like put made it like black. Maybe, maybe we should make it like black concrete or something. But that's a minor thing. Uh, okay. Well, I've got some deep slate, so we'll we'll use that. We're going to splash into water here in a second. There it is. Oh, hi, gravel. Am I going to drown? <clears throat> Deep slate is fine. Yeah. Uh, Make it skulk. Yeah, that would be good, too. I know. Skulk or black concrete or any of those would be good. We'll see. We have time. 
which means never. Uh, let's get a torch in here. I'll probably move these torches later. Okay, are we through the water? We're through the water. Oh, <laughs> hi, friends. Uh, we still have... Well, I could just look at my Y. Okay, yeah, we still got quite a ways to go. Uh, whoop, whoop. <laughs> the real thing, though, now, uh, I didn't think about it, is I gotta, I gotta calculate... Someone at full health. What is it like 23 blocks or something like that? 23 blocks is the minimum to... Yeah, I could put a water break somewhere. But I want them to fall like 21, 22 blocks, I think. Is anyone off the top of their head? I feel like from like many years ago, I remember 23 being the, the kill distance. Fall damage is one for each block fall after the third. So yeah, third, 23 would do it then. Okay, so we want them to fall 22 blocks, 21 blocks. We'll have them fall 21 blocks. So right now we're at, what is that, negative 41? What's the top? Top is negative 11, so we're already dropping them 30. Uh, so we either put a water drop a few blocks here. Just test it. Yeah. <laughs> Splat works. Um, yeah, I, they don't need to be at half a heart precisely. If they're at a, a, a heart or a heart and a half, it's totally fine. They're going to die to a Ravager in one hit. Um, so this is too much though. So my choices are either put a water drop a couple blocks down or raise the floor up. Raising the floor up isn't really an option. In fact, I'd like to lower it more because I don't want to deal with all this water. Basically, when they enter this room, boom, they have to be they have to be at the at like a corner of the room. Like if the room could go in this direction, that'd be great. And it's already that's already too high because of the waters there. I don't want to deal with the water. So I think we're looking at oh a snow a snow break is a good idea too yeah that's more on brand let's do that <clears throat> powdered snowdrop yep i like that better in fact we could just have them fall through a, a few powdered snow just like build that little suspense uh and by a few i mean two because it's apparently all i've got left okay <laughs> there's a few i suppose uh, oh, hi, little man. All right, clean out the inventory. Uh, arrows, stone, sticks. Okay, whatever. Slime chunk? Yeah, they're everywhere. Oh, I didn't even think if, sli if slime spawned in the... Oh, no. If that, if slime spawned in there? Oh, no. I know, I know I could half slab it, but that destroys the entire floor, right? Extra hard mode. Uh, I can't check the chunk unless I either go to like, I'd have to put the seed into the tool here or, or go to chunk base. String it is hideous. Yeah, we'll worry about it later. That's not a thing for now. Ugh, now I'm paranoid though. Okay. No, we're not we're not littering garbage all over the floor. That's ugh. Uh okay, I got my booties on right. We should be able to survive this. Okay. Uh I want to go down a few more. Okay, that looks to be good. Let's go a couple more just to be safe. Okay, now which direction? I want to go south and east, I think. No, what direction is this? Northwest, the complete opposite. Uh, yeah, I'll try to light up that cave if I think about it. In fact, let's just do that now. Uh, uh... <laughs> Where are you at? 
This is where this is where Tango dies, everyone. Give me a little flea hole. Okay. Torch and flee, torch and flee. <laughs> it's the employee break room. Or that. Okay. What is that? Is this natural? Natural, someone dug this out. There's so many caves everywhere. So many caves everywhere. There's a massive lava lake nearby that I really wanted to incorporate into decked out, but it's just a bit too far. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, which direction now? What did we say? North toward the geode. I want to go away from. Hang on. Where the heck is decked out? <laughs> Where's that game we're building? Uh, there's that. Okay, I want to go. I just want to make sure I go away from level three. Uh, all right. Yes, I don't want to go north. I want to go south east. That's what I originally thought. Okay. South east. <clears throat> How do you lose the whole game? I know, right? Okay, so they drop down here and they're going to be in the corner of this room. I don't want there to be any obstacles. There's no there's no dipsy doodle nonsense. It's just wide open ravagers coming at you. I don't know how many ravagers are going to be down here. It's going to be based on the size of the room. Let's go a little bit bigger. Why start in a corner versus a side? Why not? I don't know corner is arguably harder because you'd have less freedom of movement. <clears throat> you love the dipsy doodles pebbles. Okay, we will obviously texture the walls and stuff. Uh, I don't know what the gauntlet room should be. Like what blocks? It almost feels like it should be not on the normal decked out texture theme. Like just black concrete walls or something. This is the death chamber, yes. Now the right blocks, yeah. On it, on it. <laughs> always with the, always with the sand. Infinity room. I don't even know what that means. White white maps or whatever. I think I think a pure black room would be very disorienting. Taking ideas though. Full skulk, that's an option for sure. It's a little bit on theme, but obsidian <laughs> if, if I was okay with TNT dupers that would be an alternate choice the gauntlet isn't ravagers it's just just a rain of TNT <laughs> and you gotta like look up 
you imagine if you could like see the TNT falling and you're like, <laughs> that would be fun. That was your plan for tolls, yeah. Pure white concrete, maybe. A redstone block room. That would be weird. Be very vibrant. Red nether brick? Maybe. All right, this is still nowhere near good enough, right? The thing is the player is faster than, the player is faster than, uh, war than Ravagers. So if you get past them, you're done, you're in. So we really gotta make it like, I'm starting to think square is not the way to go. It's got to be more long. Like, if we're going to call it a gauntlet, let's call it a gauntlet. Oh, we could put lava in the floor, too. We could put lava in the floor with uh, iron bars in the middle. So it's hard to navigate. Oh, it'll destroy the items. Stupid items! Why are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Add an evoker. Uh, I suppose. Here's the other thing. When they get to the other side, what are they like? They're going to go through a little room, right? The room will be like shaped like this or something, right? So it's like only they could fit through it. And then what? There's like a button and they press it and it says contact the dungeon master with 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 what? A secret word? Because like, I don't know who it is. Tell, tell, tell the dungeon master, you know, banana, <laughs> right? And then you get the trophy. <laughs> Just ask for video evidence. I mean, I can't because they don't record every single run. I mean, Etho ran the dungeon 140 times or whatever. There was, there's no way he could record it all. A secret item. Some kind of voucher. Well, they're, they, I can't give them an item because they're about, even if they get through, they're going to die. I still have to kill them. I can't give them an item. They're, they're not getting out alive. They're still dying. Yeah, peeps have cheat cam too. You're right. Yeah. A screenshot of the room. Yeah, they could use, they could totally cheat cam that too. Maybe I guess not if it had if it was in survival. This whole idea is not necessary. You're absolutely right. It's not. Message in a book. Message in a book is better because you got to interact with it. Yeah. A, a book on a lectern. I, I could see like you walk in here and there's like a little separate small room with a lectern at the back with like a light behind it and you have to read the lectern and that's got the secret word on it. What? Oh, they have to write their name in the lectern. Make them, oh, make them sign the book. Well, this, more than one people can do this, though. This isn't just, I mean, technically, I don't want it. I don't want it to just be the first person. Regardless, I think this room needs to be longer and not square. So I'm going to start digging up more here. Simple fall death. Move on to the next task for the game. Yeah. We're streaming though. <clears throat> mm -mm 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 -mm. 
perhaps add a pillar to make the room uh, age shape. Nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want anything that's gonna benefit the player. Because once I make an age shape, then you could you could juke the ravager all day, and it, it's gonna become much easier. I think. Like again, this has to be almost. I would be totally fine if no one ever did this. The goal, that's not the goal. The goal is to make them have something to try. This is going to become a chore for the player. I mean, they're, if they, they're going to die within four seconds. If they're going to fall down here, have one heart. The Ravager's going to go and they're going to die. I don't think that's a chore. The, the, the lectern seems like the best so far. I'm just, still just trying to get the shape of the room here. I'll make them put a sign on the wall. And they put their name. So-and-so was here. That's a good idea. Because then when you get in there, you can see if you're first. You can see who else has done it. I like that. The sign's a good idea. So they pull a sign out of the barrel. Put it on the wall that just says... Your name was here. And then I could go check to see. Yeah, that, that works. Does anyone see any? I think that that works. All right. Imagine that went straight this way. Does this feel? That's so narrow. There's no way you're getting past the Ravager there. It's tiny. You need to be wider though. But like when I took this wall out, it felt too wide. Playoff hockey is here. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> That's the idea, right? I mean, yeah. Again, the, the idea, the goal is that they're, they feel like they might be able to do it. We don't want player to just not, we want, we want them to try, you know? If they fall here. Maybe, I'm trying to think. If the Ravagers, assuming the Ravagers are randomly dispersed around the room, which I'm sure they won't. They're probably going to cluster in a corner. Then arguably maybe it is better to drop them in the middle of the room. Like if I made the room go that way a little bit, essentially ma imagine they dropped right here. Now they're more likely to be close to a Ravager as opposed to here. If all the Ravagers are right there, it's, it's a straight line. Looking for ideas on how to prevent Ravager clustering or something like that without making it even more complicated. Zones. They have to get through different sections. Warden, wardens would be trivial to get through. Just run. I'll put two levers in the room. Basically, there's a door at the back, but the only way to open the door is to run over here, press a button, run over here, press a button, and they both have super long pulse extenders, and they're anded together, and then the door opens up. A little bit of redstone, not hard, though. That's not a bad idea, because now they pretty much got to go everywhere. So this is 99% impossible. Perfect, Doc. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Too hard? I mean, if there's one Ravager in here, it's not too hard. Right? If there's one Ravager, you can kind of, especially if I allow you to jump. That's a good question too, is how tall the ceiling's gonna be. It's gotta be it's gotta be taller than two so that the Ravager can fit. But if we get if we make it three blocks tall, the player can really accelerate past and jump around and stuff. You could probably you could probably give a Ravager, give him the what's up and juke around him and stuff. Soul sand? Now that's just dirty. Now there's no chance. Ice floor? Interesting. I mean, that's a good point. Like a snowy ice room would still be on brand for decked out. And then just make the whole floor be packed ice. Just so it's a little bit harder to navigate. 
cobweb the whole roof. <laughs> That's nasty. If they jump once, they're dead. Ravagers 2.2, I know, yeah. So I could go, I could go two and a half with a top slab. I know I'm just kind of lingering, but this is the part where chat makes things better, guys. I, like, I'm, I have a way I could do this, but there's always that one idea that pops up that makes everything great. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if they slide, but they could definitely move around. They'll be fine. Have the ceiling be three tall. We'll put scaffolding slabs around so they can hit their head if they jump wrong. Maybe something like that, yeah. Powdered snow buckets to fall into. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Uh, technically, the items would fall down there, though, and that would make item collection a lot harder. Make the door only open for, like, half a second. <laughs> the, the double button idea, random exits would be interesting, too, but that's a lot more work. The double button idea is super easy. I mean, like, that's, like, 10 minutes of redstone. Um, two buttons with pulse extenders opens the door for 10 seconds or something. I think, I think, I think an ice floor is good. Uh, have a dropper below the powdered snow in the floor. Just suck it back up. Is the powdered snow even with the rest of the floor or above it then? If it's above it, that's weird. Why would you walk into it? If it's lower, then you still have the problem with the items falling into that hole where the powdered snow was. Even one button on the other end. You're right, true. I, honestly, DZ, yeah. Like, if, if the door was right here to get out and the button was right here, that's probably adequate. Drop in the middle, button opposite the exit. Yeah, so if they drop in the middle of the room, then they have to go press the button and then get back to the other side. That, that forces them to retrace their steps, which is good, but they're already going to have to retrace their steps with this, right? If they come in here and run over here, those Ravagers are already on their way, so they're going to have to seriously, like, do some dodging and stuff. Does this feel like the right size room? A wall of buttons. Only one of them works. Yeah. <laughs> Will Zed test it? Sure. Does this feel like the right size room? Two Ravagers? Longer? Yeah, we're definitely going to do the button, I think. Button opens the door. Cute ominous countdown. They have to get across the room in time. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Room a little bit longer. Uh, you can drop out a special item for winning here because you have to filter and return items anyways already. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. So that would put it. They would. That would. They would have a, a custom item. I mean, they could just have the trophy. And I could be that that's a good point, actually, because then I don't even have to be involved for the trophy. They just get the trophy and it's spit out into the same water stream that their items go through. I don't know how nearby that water stream is, so it, it might not be. It's probably going to be up there more. So, meh. but but it's nice that I don't have to be involved. A little bit of extra crowns, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea, too. Yeah. Trophy would be good for the room decor. That's the whole point, Finlandia. Yeah, that's the whole point. Again, the more we, the bigger we make this room, the bigger the item collection system's got to be. I'm still debating between minecart and water streams coming out. How dark will it be? Uh, I mean, obviously, we can't have mob spawns down here. 
Does, does light matter? I mean, assuming it's not... It, it could be 15 for all I know. Does it matter? This is starting to feel right about the right size, I think. What's the name of level four? Vaporware. You ravage your slide on ice? I don't know. How detailed are we going with this box? Not, not detailed. I'm going to decide on what the wall textures are and the ceiling and that's pretty much it. I'm not, I'm not really adding any depth or anything like that if that's what we're talking about. Yeah. That's another interesting example. What if the entire, what if you took less fall damage, but the entire floor was magma blocks? <laughs> you only got so many steps to get out, friend. <laughs> no, you can do the Ravager. <laughs> They could shift, but who's going to shift with Ravagers down here, <laughs> right? You got to sprint. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. I don't know why. That's pretty good. All oh, the Ravager will take damage. Ah. ah, I could do like every I could do an odd pattern of. No, there's no way around it, right? The Ravager would take damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could, I could slab part of the room, part of the room, and then the player would be like bouncing in between, but then you lose all the, the whole effect because the player would just bounce on the, uh, yeah. Still thinking. Ice is cruel enough. It is, yeah. Don't overcomplicate it. I know, I know. I'm not, I mean, I'm not changing something like Magma Block. This isn't complicating. It's just a good idea that completely changes the whole feel of the room. And I'm just still looking for that good idea that, that changes it completely. <clears throat> Maybe we'll just stick to ice, though. I mean, you could do something like... The Ravagers... Hang on. Because the Ravagers can attack players that are right below them. What if... The whole floor was... Here, hold on. Let's, let's prototype this. I think we got something here. Uh... I want those. Uh, I need iron bars. I need a crafting table. I, th I think I think we got it. Or an idea. Give me some bars. Okay. What if the bar, what if it was like... Uh, I think Ravagers can fit through that, right? Because they're they're 1.8 blocks wide, I think. And that's a little bit less than two, but I think they would fall through there. So we'd have to use walls or something like that. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> but anyways, the idea was we get a pattern here, right? And the Ravagers are walking up here. So yeah, I, I could stagger the bars like so it's like like this, right? Essentially like this. Now the player has to like run around through this field of bars and the Ravagers are walking on the bars. That's probably still not good enough right there, but you get the idea. That allows the Ravagers to zip around. I mean, it's kind of weird though at this point too, right? I think, I think it's kind of weird. 
like having floating ravagers. <laughs> Feels kind of weird. Yeah, we, th th this would allow us to do the magma floor, but it's 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 too gimmicky and weird. I agree. Okay. All right, so we stick to just an ice chamber with packed ice floor. It ruins the field. Yeah. Let's keep it simple. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. With, let's go with like an icy room. I think that'll be sufficient. Okay. Uh, let's actually try and get this done then. Do we think this is the right size room? Do we think we should drop them in the middle? I could dig out some of this wall instead. Or do we stick with, I think we stick with corner, button, exit. I think it's fine like this, right? Boom, they splat here, half a heart, and then two Ravagers, two Ravagers in here. Does that feel like the number we're thinking? Snow floor and powdered snow holes. They could be, yeah, if you do the powdered snow, three, four, <laughs> you guys are nuts. Four? I feel like two. Try it in a test world. Two is too easy? I don't think you understand. <laughs> like, getting over here, the rat, you're probably gonna be dead by the time you press the button. If both Ravagers are on the far end of the room, you'll be able to press the button, but they're already tracking you and they're halfway here. Maybe, I mean, maybe you could go, go, go around the corner then I, I, I think. Test it. <laughs> can you run jump the gauntlet? So we can get an idea. You mean like, Am I allowing it or are you asking me to right now, Dead Knight? Yeah, we, we might need to tweak the ceiling height or just put random cobwebs on the roof or something like that. Like, it's, it's four and a half hops to get across. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four, like four and a half to get across. If we slab the roof, the Ravagers can still move down here, I think. <clears throat> to the science world. <laughs> do I? That, I don't want to. God, I just want to do it. But you might be right. And I don't know that I'm the best person for it. Let's see. How wide is this room? Delta Strat, thank you so much. If they spam. Face bar will be quicker. Cobwebs on the ceiling would help. If I if I sprinkled cobwebs on the ceiling at like random intervals, it would obviously very much discourage jumping. <clears throat> Low ceilings are faster for players. Oh, I mean, you're right, I guess, because then they could hit the spam and do that jump nonsense. You're right, yeah. So I think, I think keep the ceiling where it is and just sprinkle cobwebs around the ceilings. Cobwebs will make the Ravager sad. Why? Oh, because they jump too for no reason whatsoever. Will a Ravager... I, I think the Ravagers only jump when there's like weird blocks nearby them to try to get up on them. If it's a pure box like this, I think the Ravagers might not. We, we need to science some of this up. All right. Someone figure out the size of this room for me. Uh, We got 1986, negative 641. Nineteen ninety six, six twenty two. Someone, someone math that. While I drink my coffee. Twenty by twenty four, ten by nineteen, ten by nineteen, ten by nineteen. Okay, ten by nineteen seems to be the uh, the dominant one here. All right, let's test this real quick. We'll go to we'll go to a science world. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, positive, positive, good. Uh, so we want to go nine and 18 with uh, packed ice. Boom. Okay. Frame mark, thank you. Uh, let's lose a little world edit here. This will be easier, I think. Let's give it a ceiling. for some happy fun time we'll see if i take one hit i mean we know they're right there though okay i could i could have gotten through right there if i was lucky i could have done it right there if i if i didn't if i wasn't horrible at the clicking Yeah, two, two. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. If I had one heart too, absolutely, yeah. Well, it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> two is fine. It really depends on where they are. If they're at this end, like, watch this. Uh, let me go creative. Survival, get them to come over here. Right now, if I came into the room and it was like this button, do maybe not. And that's like, even if you've got optimal, I'm, I'm trying to explore different options of like where they might start. Get around. <laughs> the start between the drop and the exit might be able to juke them. Maybe you're not the right person to test. I mean, absolutely not. I'm not the right person to test this. It's pretty. The ice makes it impossible. You think it's the ice killing me? I don't know. You get that one hit and you're done. Let me see if I if I can wait and ah. my my strategy now is to like press the button, lure them in, and try and work around. But I don't even know that that's possible. You can't get traction. I don't even know that it's the ice. I mean, sure we can we can swap. We can swap out and see if it's the ice. I don't think it is though. Ha <laughs> 
This is, I think it's impossible. It's supposed to be almost impossible, but it's supposed to give them hope that they could do it. Maybe I should, maybe we should try one. One is doable. One is doable. I'm pretty convinced. Is the button even necessary? The, the, the button is necessary because then you could just run in and sprint past them. The button in the opposite corner of the exit is, is what really gives the Ravager time to zone in on you, I think. Oh, look at that. Late start. Late start. I made it. I made it. So it's definitely got to be two. I mean, if I made it on my third attempt or second attempt, I, I think two is the right answer, right? <laughs> Needs a dragon, yeah. Oh, hi, friend. Okay, I think I think it's two. Do it with one heart. I mean, it doesn't matter. One hit is considered failure. It doesn't matter if I technically die or not. Yeah. Oh, did I did I take a hit that time that I said it was a success? Did I? All right. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention then. Let's see. I thought I did it without. That one's definitely a fail. But it, it, it's weird because it's, it's really the Ravagers take a variable amount of time. Basically, they're only checking for players. That's like every three seconds or something like that. So if you catch it right on the beginning of that of that period, that phase where they're checking for nearby players, you get an extra two seconds or so um, of time. It's really what it comes down to is can you. No way there. Yeah, we get, and again, if they're in the wrong spot, you're absolutely dead. There's no hope. The only hope is if they're down here. <clears throat> and now can we do it with one without taking a hit? I don't think it's possible. Not with not with two. But is one. Oh, I missed the button. All right, let's try that again. Once he tracks you, you're dead. You know what people are going to do is they're going to they're going to wait to die up at the surface and they're going to free cam and wait for the ravagers to roam into a nice spot before they jump into the death pit. They're going to totally cheese it. Fifteen attempts could take a month. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking one. Ah, one Ravager. One Ravager is pretty hard. He's got to be in the right spot. One is too easy. I have yet to do it. Apparently, I thought I did, but you guys said I didn't. So. Well, let's see if I hit the button there. I'm trying to go at him to avoid the cut, but it's really it's really about just how much time you have before he recognizes you. And again, keep in mind, I'm setting the Ravager up in the optimal starting position as well, too. Nah, I tried. I cut back too much there. I don't know. The room might be too narrow. Yeah, if the room was like a couple blocks wider. Whoops, 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 extra whoops. <clears throat> this is so not MVP. No, it is absolutely not MVP. Oh, why am I keep doing that? 
Uh, let's go to the room two blocks wider. It's not MVP, but this adds a lot of fun to the game. It's it's total bragging rights. Uh, no, not Phil. I want I want set iron block. And then let's go there. Let's go. Optimal position would have you juke the Ravagers while running to the button so you can pass them easily. Oh, like pre... Because I've been just going to the button first and then trying to juke them on the way out. You think... Maybe? I mean, either way, you gotta... Yeah, it's tough. I don't know. All right, let's see what this is like. Try it with one. You think the position I'm trying is the worst? Oh, interesting. I, I get, so I was banking on the ability to juke them out, but if the, if the, if it's really like, if the Ravager was like right here, then this is actually the best position. You're right. If, if I get lucky on the resp on the, on the detection cycle, essentially, like, let's see. Oh, no, I waited too long. Oh, did you see my button? My button. Well, only test this for a couple more seconds. But, <laughs> I typed but. What am I doing? Oh, I'm in survival. Okay. So, if the Ravager, let's try and set the Ravager up. We'll say Ravager being like right here, maybe. Okay. Now, <laughs> if I can go in here, hit the, uh, pretend I hit the button. Ah, oh, he still got me. I think one is good. I think one is good. One Ravager in this size room is still quite the challenge. Once he's on you, like you're dead. Because the room's that you can't the room's not wide enough to get around him. Thanks, Lomax. I feel better now. So how do we collect their bits? Yeah. Let's discuss that. Uh respawn. All right, so I, I think the two best ideas are it's luck, not skill a little bit. Yeah, uh, I'm designing a hermit farm. <laughs> That's a good idea. I am Framark. Thank you for the 10 gift subs from three minutes ago. Thank you so much. Ern Aples, Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you. You're posting an idea I might like. Okay, to where scored ghost and Kaizen. Thank you guys so much. Uh, the Dunga dude. Hello. Thank you for the piece of pie. Uh, so if I do water here, and I know you guys don't want me to stay in creative for a while, but like while we're here, maybe <clears throat> we're not using LA's. What happens if the player has armor? It's fine. What they're going to die in one hit anyways, because they're going to have such low health. Hopper minecart is easier. Probably. It does take a little bit longer to collect the items, though. Right? Like, if you catch it at the worst time, you're looking at 30 seconds, maybe, before your items even get picked up. Water moves Ravagers. That's fine. It doesn't matter because you're already dead and they'll have plenty. Of, they're going to have five minutes to wander around anyways. Hopper floor would be the quickest. Hoppers below slabs. Yeah, that's just, that's a lot of hoppers now. What is it, 10 by 19? That's what? That's almost, that's almost 200 hoppers. <laughs> like, uh, it's the, it's not the iron that bothers me, it's the lag. 
there's already a lot of hoppers i'm already adding a lot of hoppers uh and just for the store part just use five hopper my cards oh right i suppose yeah we could have run a, run a bunch of i could run one in each line yeah you're right idiot I could just run one the, there and back, there and back, there and back. That's all it does. It doesn't go around the corner. So there's just a bunch of them that go out and back. Drops the items off. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. We'll do that. I'm not going to do it today, but we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Elemental. I didn't see it. Yeah. 10 straight lines is good. Okay. Hopper lag is, is pretty much non-existent now. Is that true? I haven't really... I haven't really tested if hoppers are laggy anymore. Could have just tested it right there, I suppose. Use the new... What is moving me right now? That was weird. My mouse was like inching. <clears throat> hoppers, hoppers would be better. I mean, if, if we're saying ho hoppers aren't any lag concerns anymore, then I'll, I'll slap down 180 hoppers. I don't care, 190 hoppers. Minecart into Lava Cauldron thing. Yeah, for the drop off. Those are pretty good. Into a, Directly into a water stream. What's up, Cosmic? We're working on the death chamber. Okay. So they fall down here. Let's go get, what are the walls gonna be? I mean, we're not trying to make this really feel artistic or like a good build, right? I think we're just going with flat walls. Did we just go with snow? It's gonna look ugly. Blackstone. The floor is gonna be ice, right? We still wanna go with ice? Or do we wanna just go with black concrete everywhere? Or white everywhere? I'm starting to think the ice isn't that important. And therefore we might be able to gain some extra grounds by going with like some kind of themed room, like solid black or solid white. White. <laughs> Checkered, not really. I've never done a white room really. I like the idea of it being all black or all white, though. I know all black is very disorienting, but that wouldn't be great for video either. Although the Ravagers would stand out. You would see the Ravagers just fine, I think. Everyone keeps saying infinity room. Maybe I don't know what that means. What, what, is, what is this infinity room nonsense? I know I'm going to regret asking this. It's a grand thing, I know. That's why everyone's suggesting it. All white maps? But to what end? Are you suggesting I can't see the Ravager? Like, I don't understand. Or just white concrete walls, which is what we're talking about. Yeah. You lose the point of reference. Oh, because there's no lighting and everything, and it all looks like uh, you lose this ambient. Uh, what's it called? Uh, ambient lighting? No, oh, I forget. I'm, I lost all my graphics terms. There's a term for this lighting that's in the corners. Oh, ambient occlusion. You lose ambient occlusion. There it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Shadows. No, it's ambient occlusion. Uh, you lose that. Basically, it's if you do. Uh, let's see. Video settings. General, where's the lighting one? I don't know how this works for, I probably passed it already. It doesn't matter. Somewhere in here, there's a uh, a way to turn off ambient occlusion. And we're not doing the item frames, of course not. Okay, uh, let's try, let's try white. Let's see, let's get a whole bunch of white concrete and see what, see what we're looking at. Uh, I don't want to be here, I want to be up here. Whoops. Oh, we'll just go this way. Ow. All right. 
Let's check our concrete supply. White concrete isn't fully white. I know it's not. We have the coordinates by chance. Died to a creeper in the portal. Ooh, rough. Tell Cub to craft a recovery compass. Uh, do those, they point to your death spot, Nate? Is that how those work now? I don't know. That's new stuff to me. Black concrete. It, it Yeah, black concrete. And, I, and, the, and the bonuses, I have a lot of black concrete already. <laughs> I have a lot of black concrete. So let's try that. Let's try that. I think black will be just fine. And it's definitely setting a creepy, eerie mood, which is a good thing. Will you light it? Uh, that's a good question. How will I light it? Because mobs will spawn down here. Glow lichen. That's going to defeat the whole black thing, though, isn't it? Oh, holes in the ceiling. Yeah. We'll punch holes in the ceiling and put, like... You know, not not torches because they're too bright, but we put like lichen up like that or something like that. Candles, candles would keep it creepy. And we can put that. We can put the candles in the walls. That's not a bad idea. Like black candles, like right there, right? Single black candles or whatever, just enough to just and put them all around the perimeter. I think that'll be a nice touch. <clears throat> All right, let's continue making a black room. I could do the floating candles like we did in the in the necromancer library area. Debating. Yeah, you have to keep in mind it's gonna take a player like four or five deaths just to even understand what's happening in here, because like the first time they fall down here, they're gonna be like. Splat. What? Oh, I'm dead to a Ravager. Next time they're going to be like, oh, they're going to try and die. It's going to be like the third or fourth time before they even notice the door and the button. And that's a good thing. Floating candles would work great. Right? Yeah, I'm still I'm still very much entertaining black floating candles in here, too. And then a blackstone button. Oh, you guys are evil. Evil. Look, like already the room is getting so dark, I can't see what see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Maybe I should put the candles in first. Yeah, we'll torch it up for now. gonna be bad for videos well there's that too i mean they're only gonna have eight seconds of of content so i'm not too worried i do want this to be in videos but i think they'll see the ravagers just fine especially with the candles in here uh oh right is this did we we, we bumped it out two more wide right okay sorry we did still want to go with the the widening it by two yeah <sighs> right so we want to do that
This is the wall I pushed out in the example, but it doesn't really matter technically. Joel, thank you for the raid again. So many raids lately, Joel. Thank you so much. Wouldn't the floating candles have a hitbox? I would, I, I would raise the ceiling and the floating candles would be above their head, so. But I don't want to. Oh, diamonds! I'm so excited! Uh, but I don't want to... Like, the ceiling may have to be, like, four blocks tall, which is fine. If that's what we decide we have to go with. Okay. That's the size we want. I'm gonna do the floor last, I think. My pickaxe is dying. We got fine. We're fine. All right, clearly it needs to be at least three blocks tall, but I'm thinking four blocks tall, and then the the candles are at that fourth air block. Which now really suggests the uh, the drop tunnel needs to be all black too. We'll get to that later though. Okay. Did I, whoops. <laughs> Did I, whoops, yes, yes I did, whoops. Leave the diamond ore for the final design. Just, it's, it's called the comment generator. Okay, we're three by three. I think I want to go another one. And then the, the candles up at this height right here. I think that's going to look good. Black candles. only I had a beacon to speed this up. Beacon doesn't really speed up. Like it ever so slightly speeds up deep slate digging. Twenty percent? Is that it, Lomax? Definitely not worth setting up a beacon down here. Which room is this? This is the happy fun time room. Where all your dreams come true. <laughs> you realize that like more people are gonna die in season nine right here. <laughs> right here what I'm doing than the rest of the server combined. <laughs> yeah, that warms my heart. Yes, they absolutely should increase the, the digging speed of Deep Slate. It's it's horrendously slow and painful. There's no reason to have a block a block this prominent that is not instant mine at this point in the game. If the candles were blood red, yeah, I do. I kind of like that actually. I was I was just thinking that black they'd be hidden too much. Red might be interesting. It's gonna give a very dark vibe, which I kind of like. So yeah, let's let's maybe try red. How are we doing? Pick, pick's good. What'd you do today? Yeah, I made a black box. Box of Doom! Okay. This is gonna be so good.
Ceiling is definitely gonna be black too, yeah. Which I suppose we should do now. I have no idea I'm getting a Ravager down here, by the way. Like, I mean, we obviously can get Ravagers easily now, but I gotta get... I'm, I'm gonna do the Ravager drop thing, uh, where I drop them down here. Uh, and then they land on a track. Yeah. I have to dig a three by three hole all the way down here. Oh, but then I gotta, then I gotta, I gotta get them out of the mine cart and I don't wanna deal with that. So yeah, maybe we'll activate, I don't know. Activate a rail up at the surface and then they free fall down through, through a water drop. Oh, or portal here. Take them through the nether. Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, they're already in the nether. But I don't know that I could link a portal from the nether roof down this low without it linking to one of the other nearby portals. I don't think that would work just because there's there'd have to be no portals in the area. And I think there's going to be too many. Slow falling. Sure. Still got to get him out of the minecart first, though. Temporarily disable the other portals. There's there might be a lot of them. I think I'd probably spend way too long trying to link up like I'd, I'd go through. Oh, I'm at this place. Break that one and go over there. It just it'd be I think it'd be an endless nightmare. Oh, hi. Hi, friends. Thank you for the gear. Wonderful gravel. <clears throat> it's a numeral thing with a piece of pie. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey now. <laughs> None of that, friend. What the heck was that? <laughs> I'm reading donations over here. You're dumping lava on my face. <laughs> that was horrible. We're still good. Okay. Uh, uh, There's gonna be more of it here, right? Yup. Not this time, gravel lava trick. I found the lava pool. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Sir Numeral, thank you. I missed the board game discussion yesterday, uh, but you would try, you should try Summoner Wars. It's like chess, but with wizards and hit points and zombies and magic rhinos. Magic rhinos? Everybody needs magic rhinos in their life. Okay. All right. I see what's happening here. Why is it got to be the last little pieces here? And, and water? How is there not obsidian up there? Everyone's going to tell me to leave the drips. I don't want the drips. Okay. All right. Now we can add the ceiling. <clears throat> Black concrete floor as well. Yeah, probably. But I'm doing that last because that's going to mess with my brain.
when you misplace a block it's like the only way to see it is to like go look at the shadows and stuff <clears throat> uh problem items could land in the holes you dug in the walls uh they'd have to go through the walls i don't think that's gonna happen oh, oh, oh no the candles aren't gonna be in the in the side anymore they're gonna be uh they're gonna be up in the ceiling sorry if that wasn't clear but you're right if they if they were in the wall then the items could land in the in the side walls how we doing we're good unbreaking three is an amazing thing People are gonna be like, man, Tango really likes his black black box rooms. Rightfully so. Okay. There's a misplaced block. What? Did I miss another one? Yep, right there. We get them all. Now add nether stars. Yeah. Nope. Uh okay, let's go get some candles. Is there another misplaced one at the end too? See where I am. There's another one. Three blocks from the hole. Oh. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I, I got lost in a box. I know, right? Uh. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Let's just grab a new pick now. So people aren't losing their minds. Okay. Uh, to the red candle store. Uh, 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 this way. Nope. This way. I don't know that I'm going to be able to make enough red candles. Okay. Ah, uh, candle, candle, candles. Hey! 23? 24? That's a start. How many do we think we're going to need? Like, I don't know... Get black as well, too. Yeah. Just, just to see in case we don't like the red. I doubt we will dislike it. But we'll try. Uh, flint and steel. Okay. You think 24 should be enough? How much light does one candle give off? Uh. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Deep slate. Deep slate elsewhere. I probably should have got my fortune pick out to do this, but going away. Keep those. Sure. No. I yes. Okay. That that. Okay. I uh, that's that's regular deep slate. I need cobble deep slate, and plus Doc gave me like twenty stacks of it. So. Okay. Yeah, I think I think the red on black is going to be great. Let's just try that. Hopefully that's enough. <clears throat> so disorienting. OK, uh, let's see. Hold on. Okay, I'll put one right here. Oh no, I need to I need to I need to place it on a block first. Of course. So I got to do this, right? I got to do that. And then we could break it. 
Oh, that's not giving off a lot of light at all. I could do scaffolding, yeah, maybe. Candlelight is 36912, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need two candles. Oh, I can't, I need the block there to put, I can't even upgrade it. Okay. So that is giving off a three. We're basically looking for a pattern here, like a minimal pattern. Uh, all right, that's already no good because that's only doing, that does a three by three area, essentially. Three, two, one. <sighs> yeah, do we go three candles? Is it better to go three candles or is it better to go more spots? Probably, probably bigger clusters. Three candles, I think, right? Okay. So if I do that one, that's six, five, four, three. If I did one here, six, five, four, three. That would, mm, yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Let's try this. Whoops, I just broke black. Ah, uh, <laughs> it mocks me. Stupid mocking thing. All right, we can we can kick them in one though. I think. Uh, if I go there with them, and there with them, it looks like we'll have ones in the corner. Uh, middle candle will get it. Am I doing a middle? I wasn't gonna do a middle candle. Because if I did this one here. And then another one like here in between these two. I was thinking six, basically. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six spots. Yeah, six cluster, I think. But then. Then we got this one block. Whoa, what? What just happened? Oh, I stepped on the redstone. <laughs> I was like, how did that light just update? Stupid redstone. That's a puzzle somewhere right there. You have to run around the room and make it light up. Or not use black carpets on the floor and then lower light levels. I don't, I don't like the way I don't think black carpets are going to look good. Black carpets on... Uh, black concrete are gonna, it, it would just, it would lose the whole feeling in here, I think. A single brown mushroom? I don't know. We can, we can get this, I think. This will be fine. If we do, uh, hello? You're at the roof, right? Why can't I? There we go. All right, that leaves a one in the corner. Uh, I think this will be fine because we're going to be overcrowded this way. So let's let's go with this option here. Good. Let's do down here now. Oh, did I still have? Oh, my candles. This is gonna be this is gonna be a cool room. It's gonna be creepy. Uh, oh wait, I wanted to go over one. Ah. So it's duh, 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 right there. Nope. Right there. Do that. Do that. Do that. Okay. Looking good here. Now we go right in between these. Let's try and find the midpoint here. Between that and that. Is it like right there? Probably. Uh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
one two three four five six seven eight okay so there is no middle so good enough we'll go there we will go there 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 i'm sure chat's yelling at me for something by now okay random placement nah Okay, and now this one goes in between these and I think we should be good right here, here. Ah, ah I thought we were gonna be good. Uh... Can we go four candles? And go four candles in the middle. Problem solved. Okay, we're good. Should we do the floor now? <laughs> random, you think random would be better? Maybe. It's definitely gonna be spooky though, yeah. Which is good. Hey, Emmy, how you doing? All right, let's do the floor. Yeah, you hear a witch. Do I still have enough black concrete? 52. No, this is where I need 190 black concrete. All right, let's go get more black concrete. Happy fun time room. It is. Da, da, da. That's four stacks. That's enough. Pattern on the floor? Nah. I just want pure black. It's going to look good. <laughs> this room is creepy. Uh, dig for the rails first. Oh, you're right. That would be smart. Uh, it's fine. I, I'll do that later. It's not a big deal because I could just go into, uh, swim mode. see if anyone gets the trophy. Of course, I still haven't gotten smart and switched out my pick yet, but that's fine. <laughs> this is pretty twisted, I know. Hey, congratulations, you won decked out. Descend into a pit of <laughs> impenetrable light darkness with just red bl blood red candles to light your demise. Ah, I love it. <laughs> this is the winner's exit. Ideas for the death message? That's out. That's out with the idea we're going with here. We debated that. Uh, Sonny. Yeah, we were going to go with some cool death messages, but obviously here now it's just going to say uh, player was slain by whatever the Ravager is named. I think it's just the, the Ravagers are probably going to just be named decked out. Unfortunately, but it's worth it with the benefit we're gaining here, I think. floor was my only hope of knowing what's going on here.
was just slain by the dungeon. Yeah, that's pretty good too, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's really two paths to take. There's the semi-serious dungeon slain by decked out, and then there's the silly path that everyone seems to... I don't know, I, I kind of... This one... I, Having a very common death message be that same silly message, I think, loses its... It becomes a bit cringe after a while, I think. So I'm probably going to go the not funny route. Keep in mind, there's going to be like hundreds, hopefully, hundreds of deaths. Come on. Oh, because we made the room one block, two blocks wider. <sighs> Stupid. Room widening. I just totally bugged out there. That was weird. Gonna get killed. One called Victor and one called Tori. <laughs> uh, I know I still have a ton of black concrete, but that'll do. Even if I want to do the drop, let's just get the drop done now, too. All right, hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, I mean, we could go with the nothing idea, too. That's kind of clever. God. This room is terrifying. <laughs> is terrifying. <laughs> glow squid. Was there what? What's this about glow squid? What did I miss? This is terrifying. The button absolutely cannot be blackstone button. People won't even understand the game then. Uh, so we need a bright button. I want them to understand the game. Uh, so... I'm, I'm thinking is warped, warped. The red won't show up. Definitely not doing blackstone. There's no such thing as a quartz button. Uh, birch button would be good. Yeah. What do I have here? That was the question. I can make a stone button. Oh yeah, that's plenty good. That's fine. Absolutely stands out. And then we got to make the exit be obvious too. So what could, oh man, <laughs> this is so disorienting. What could the exit be? An iron door? Iron door's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. I like the iron door. All right, let's get that down, that down. And I will, I will have a pulse extender. Don't worry. Like, it's not going to be that hard. If you can make it there, you're going to get out. This is so disorienting. I can't, can't see which way I'm facing. Okay. Pretty clear. 
I could put a light behind it, I think. Door is wrong. You're wrong. Uh, hey, I love it when I have 7,000 stacks of Deep Slate on me. That's cool. Let's just drop those there so we can pick them up again later. Uh, what's wrong with the door? Door's fine, right? Needs a backlight. Yeah. Let's see what kind of backlight we're looking at here. Let's probably change the texture back there, right? So like, it's not black anymore, but it's something more, more obvious. White concrete. Skulk. Skulk is basically black. Uh, yeah, quartz. Quartz work. Yes, thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Genesis, I just, I can't with you, Genesis. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I don't, I don't own frog lights, nor do I want to go buy them. Uh, if you get through the door, how are you killing them? Yes, good question. Let's figure that out. <laughs> how are we going to kill them in here? It's got to be a voluntary death, right? Something where they just like press the button to kill yourself. Anvil? No, that's not resettable. It's not resettable. Another challenge room! <laughs> uh, I mean, they basically have to come in here. They have to read a lectern that says, place your name on a sign on the wall that says so-and-so was here, right? So it's going to be like, boop, I put a wall, I put on the wall that says Tango was here. Then I'm like, mm, now what? And then, and then go die in the Ravager room? Just, just, they just leave? Just go back in and die? Well, but then it's like if they're here and they die, the Ravager's right at the door. And bah, they get die, they die right here. Half their, half their bits get sprayed over here. Like, I, I, ideally their stuff would end up back in the item collection. So maybe we do... We, we prevent, we add a little bit of spray protection here. Right. Hang on. And then the, the mine cart that, can this go? I can just go there. Oh, I can't tell if there's a block there or not. Is there a block there? I don't know what I'm placing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. There's no, okay, there's no block above it. So I gotta do that. Uh, stupid door. You bother me. Okay, that's, that's what it's gotta be then for now. Okay. Uh, I, it, honestly, just like go back in the room and die is a great answer. Because I don't have to make a new collection area. I could just have stairs loop around and they drop back in. That's probably safer. Reveal an invoker. Not too much work. Too much work. That's another half hour of mob. Riley, thank you for the piece of pie. <laughs> Terrible. I have to pre-read these because you never know. Terrible joke. Guess what I see myself doing in a couple of years. Working in a mirror factory. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. Uh, I made a TNT cannon that works in 117 and sound work for 119. Do you mean should and should work for 119? Nice. TNT cannons are a lot of fun. Okay. Stairs up and then, yeah, uh, the signs just like follow the path to victory. And then they all, they all it does is loop back around and they have to drop it back into the room and die. That, that, that's good. <laughs> On reflection. That was a pretty good joke.
Louisy of Oz. Honk, Major Luck. Sorry, I have you nothing useful to add. <laughs> Wheezy, thank you so much. Okay. So let's just dig this room out a little bit here. It doesn't have to be big. We basically just need a lectern and then a place for them to put their their signs. Right? Here's your sign. What time is it? It's almost time to wrap it up. Streamed longer than I wanted to. As usual. Uh, I should put two named frogs. Nope. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have to read anymore. Nope. Can they write in a book? They could. The sign on the wall is better. I think. Run the minecart under that room as well. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Well, I still got to kill them, though. So then how, how am I going to kill them? So... Uh, I want to make this these blocks in here. Actually, we can cut this back since we're not doing the spray protection anymore. What do we make this room out of? White. Quartz? Yeah, let's go with quartz. I'm standing on a campfire. <laughs> hey, noises. Did you have a good drive? Did you drive eight hours to plug something in again, as usual? Okay. Let's get out of here. We'll grab some quartz. <laughs> it's disturbing. <clears throat> nope. Nope. nope, 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 nope. How did I land out here? Everything's fine. We're just in the right spot now, magically. End crystal. What about an end crystal? It's not renewable. Uh, I think I have a lot of quartz down there already, but let's uh, let's just grab some more here. That should be fine. Let's grab a little sign. A couple of soul lanterns. I'm gonna keep it simple. Uh, and then we need some warped signs and a chest. Let's get a chest for them. Uh, we need the lectern. We need... Uh, birch signs are the best. They show names the best. I don't know if I have enough birch logs. I don't think I do. Oh, I have birch logs, everybody. Look at that. I birch. Birch signs. Best signs. Uh, sticks can go back. Pick these up. Those can go back. 16 signs is enough for now. <clears throat> uh, all right. Barrel. Chest. Nothing? No? No? Cool. Cool. Uh, do I have any... There we go. Spruce. That goes there. What else? Okay. <clears throat> Name is Ami decked out holding a sword named Victory. What would that say? Was slain by decked out using Vic... Wait, what would that say? <laughs> right, Genesis? Yeah. This does not need to be mapped at all. How long are you streaming? I don't know. Sh should I put cake in it? Kilgore! Thank you so much! <laughs> For the 20 gift subs, Kilgore, thank you! Intentional dungeon design? <laughs> I can't say that. I can't make it say that. Well, I guess if that's the name of their... If that's the name of the Ravagers? Yeah. I feel like a cake in the room would be good. A cake in the room would be great with a little candle in it or just just cake. And, the, and, and then the book says, please take one bite of the cake and add your name. Yeah, ah. I don't think I have cake. I got to make cake. Now I got to I got to pretend I know how to I don't know how to make cake. 
It's all kinds of ingredients. Cake's like the hardest thing in the game to make. Food. Show me cake. All right. I don't think I have what it takes for cake technology unless I have, oh, I got eggs. Eggs, wheat, milk. Do I have milk? I don't think I have milk. Everyone's spamming the resources. I know, I know. Go ahead, spam away. Uh, We might have to go find a cow to milk. Let me put, oh, I, need, I still need this snow for the drop. We gotta get that done. I gotta put some things away here. Uh, why? Why? What? Who's? Why full? Oh, because I put that there. Oh, and I have a block of nether right there. Perfect spot for that. <sighs> We're gonna play the inventory game now. That goes there. That goes there. That goes. That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. Let's throw some stuff out. Let's put the thing back. All right, sorry. I gotta. I gotta play inventory management game. <clears throat> All right, let's put the candles away. Candle, candle. Keep those on me. Get rid of the iron. Keep the quartz blocks. <clears throat> All right. Is there room in here now? Yes, I can put that away. That goes away. I don't know why I have cracked deep slate tiles on me. Goes away. The black concrete definitely goes away. We'll keep. Is it two? How many eggs is it? Uh, egg. One egg. All right. Take one egg with us. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Oh, right. Aren't there going to be... There's going to be cake at the villager trade thing, right? Do we have any there? Does anyone know? It's easier just to make it, I think. Do I have... Sugar cane. I'm not asking if you can trade for cake. I'm asking if there is cake pre-traded there. Where's my sugar cane at? Somewhere. Yeah. I think I'm all out of sugar cane. I just went and stole a whole bunch from Impulse recently. What did I do with it? Oh, there we go. There's some. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Okay. Put that back. We got that. We got the wheat. Uh, what else? Is that all I need now is the, uh, it's the stupid milk? What? Hello? Cake. Three, I need three milk. Uh, all right, I need another bucket. We're gonna go find some cow juice. Yeah. All right. Uh, rock it up, and then we're gonna go find a cow somewhere. Ow, ow. Hey, cows. I need a cow. Do cows grow up in spruce forest? I don't know. Cow harder. No cows. Cows go in for the night. Look at this. Gem. Come on, cows. These are all upright animals. Uh, there's a lot of grease, uh, green, greasy. There's a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it over here? Uh, grassland over here. Here, cow.
How hard is it to find a cow? Nothing but stupid pigs or sheep. Where's all the cows at? Sheep, pigs. Is that, oh, maybe we'll go milk Zed's sky cow. <laughs> That's a good idea. Where is it? Over here. Is it? Wait, tell me he doesn't have a, a cow here. He doesn't have a cow. It's got. Oh, that's a horse. He doesn't have a cow. Down lower. Oh, there's more animals. Look at that. <laughs> He's got so many things bouncing. Oh, how nice of you. Oh, get milked. Ah, uh, milk it. <laughs> okay, that was the best cow milking I've ever done. All right, back home. Milk, milkshake. <laughs> okay, we go back down there. We place our cake. All this for stupid cake. And what? We put a lectern. We got a book. Oh, we got to get a book. Let's get a write writable book. Right. We need a right. See what I did there? Right. Uh, okay. First, cake. Excellent. Go go away, you. Uh, we need a uh, book. Uh, it's gotta be writable, right? So I need like ink and all that garbage. Right? I need ink. And then I need, what, a feather? Oh no. Stupid feather. I don't have a feather. Right? I need all this stuff. I'm not doing the cake, because then once you, once you take one bite out of it, it, it pops off. Time to go find a chicken! I should have slept first. Look at, look at all them mobs. Looking for a tiny little box. Does that have a does that have a chicken? I might, might as well go back to the sky chicken, right? It's probably the fastest way. Ugh. Oh, I can't kill the sky chicken though. He'd be very upset. Come on, chicken. I'm gonna find a chicken, then it's not gonna drop. It's not gonna drop a feather. <laughs> Uses 18 stacks of rockets to find one feather. Nothing there. Any ideas? Texas farm. I, it would take me forever to find that. I don't even know where that is. I really thought just finding a chicken out here would not be that difficult.
The chicken's going desert. Chicken poultry. Chickens have a secret base. Would daytime be easier? I don't know. I mean, they don't go away in the nighttime, so it would help me filter out all these other mobs, though, I suppose. Do I have a bet on me? No. Is Impulse going to have one? Let's work our way over to Impulse's base, I suppose. Still looking for chickens on the way. no chickens on this server. Oh, he just got done building a whole new storage room. I think I'm spoiling things. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. I wasn't expecting you to even be on. <laughs> I'm just always here working Hi. on this. Hi, I have a quest. Days. I have a quest. I need a feather. Okay, what is it? I need a feather. A feather. Okay. Do you have any? I don't know if I. I don't know if I have a feather. Uh. Hmm. Am I spoiling if well, I come in there? I'll stay out. Come on in. It's okay. Okay. It, it's okay. I've been doing this on some streams too. Okay. Um. The problem with finding a feather right now yep. is uh, yep. I'm kind I, of in between I, I see the process. I see the process. <laughs> the quest for the uh, feather begins. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I might have one that I put in the filter already, but... Feather, okay, feather. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the thing where I'm like hovering over the shulker boxes and it tells me what's inside of them. It, it, it's tedious. We'll get there. Do I? I might have a book and a quill already somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Is that what you're? you're I need a book and a quill. So if you got that, I'll okay. take that. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open for that too. I'm looking. I'm looking. What you, you writing me a, a note? What you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm writing something for the players of Decked Out. Okay. All right. All right. Um. <sighs> we already have eggs. We don't need. What are eggs gonna do? Uh, make chicken, then kill them and, and wait after. 20 minutes for it 20 to grow minutes. up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, okay. I have cake. Uh, I have a book. I have a book. That's not your problem. Mm. Oh, look, you got all these. Okay. More books. More books. I might just go steal the one from the filter for now until I find another. Until one. we find another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, okay. Oh, this is that. bonkers. Yeah, yeah. This this new system is is insane. Um, okay, da, 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 I'm gonna, da, da, I'm be right back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, perfect flight. <laughs> Are you famous? <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, let's see. One of these is my mob drops one. They're not labeled in the back, so it's kind of hard. I get it. I get it. Here we go. Okay, I found off feather. Probably my only feather. Yeah. I what are you gonna do? <laughs> um, I can't leave you I featherless. I'll find one eventually. <sighs> when I throw stuff in the system and a feather ends up unfiltered, it'll just that, happen naturally. Yeah, it'll just happen naturally. There you go. There's your one feather. Oh, you got it. It's You're unbelievable. Like I, I, I do need to go to like Izuma's farm and just get like a shulker full of feathers, so I don't have to do this every time. Did you throw it? Oh, you got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's <sighs> true. He has the quest the for the feather. Oh my gosh, I'm just in here Bring watching book. the lights, watching yeah. stuff get sorted. Are you actually like setting running. all the filters right now? Yeah, they're all they're all done pretty much, except for you know. And is the light the like it lights up when it just drops something in that column? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. See, right now, this is grass. Grass is coming in. You're getting all the grass. So now, Look at that. Yep. Now I do this, and I'm like, okay, so this is my grass one. Cool. And I put that there, and I do the if and biz because it looks cool like that. Gotcha, and gotcha. I that's my life right now. And then you have to pick one block to represent everything stored in that row. <laughs> right. That's yeah. the hard part. That's gonna have, yeah. That's gonna have dirt and that's right. gonna have grass. Right, 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 right. Horse as long, dirt and all that. As long as you yeah. know what it means, that's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. This is pretty cool. Exactly. And this is uh, Kaz's new system. Yeah, is that what I saw? Yeah. Recategorizer. That looks pretty cool. I don't know. I, I have such a bad taste in my mouth with auto sorters at this point, man. Like, 
I've tried three yeah, or four of them. Every time they break. Every time you've ever made one, they break. Yep. Yep. I, I <sighs> rebuilt the last one yeah. twice, and then I yeah. and then I flipped the table and so, decided to just tear it down. I don't know that I could trust anymore. Uh, just, <laughs> they just they you just know, always break. Yeah, yeah, please do. If this please one do. Stays unbroken, then this might then maybe, be the one. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. All right, I'm going to head out. I got to wrap up a stream and do some stuff. But hey, thanks for the feather. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> and bye, stream. <sighs> Unbelievable. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, the lich there. My Leafs did all, they're not my Leafs. And I didn't predict them to win. I think Tampa Bay is gonna win. That was a perfectly timed thunder right there. <sighs> Love it. Where am I going over here? All right, do I have everything I need? Walls, the lectern, the book, the signs, the barrel, the cake. What do we want to put the cake? We'll put we'll put the cake on scaffolding. That's fine, right? Or concrete for the drop. Yep, that's gonna be another time because we're wrapping the stream up once we get this room done. So. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Now we go quartzy quartzy. Uh, that might be... Oh, we want it to be odd base though, so that the lectern... We'll make it five wide. We'll put the lectern right there. Uh, we'll have we'll have soul lanterns on the on the ceiling. Let's get the book. Congratulations on defeating. Uh, check my stuff, my things. Okay, I'm checking my things. Ray Ross, thank you for the biddies. I don't, I don't get that, Ray Ross. I'm very confused what that means. I'm, I'm sure it's a joke, but. Okay, I don't know that I could read that. <laughs> Congratulations on defeating this, Ray Ross. Thank you for the, for, for the biddies. I appreciate it. Poner of all, thank you for the thousand biddies. Uh, have you thought about concluding an Ender Pearl per stream? Yeah, no, there's not, we're not doing ND, Ender Stasis. Uh, Ender Pearl as a pre-item. Oh, sorry. Have you thought about including an Ender Pearl as a pre-item, uh, from a card to drop? Yeah, no, I don't want to do Ender Pearls in the dungeon. That's too abusable. Too many, too many things that they could do that are unforeseen. Uh, and thank you for the subs, guys. Irish Nikki, Blizz, 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 and Lytheal. Thank you, guys. Okay. Uh, congratulations on... This room can be super bright, yeah. Because I don't, I don't think light can leak through the iron door. Uh, defeating the gauntlet. Congratulations on defeating the gauntlet. You may now enjoy a piece of victory cake. Also, a, did I spell it? The gauntlet. <laughs> gauntlet. Uh, you may now enjoy a piece of victory cake. Also, you will find a something something trophy. A, what's, what's a, what's a, what's a silly adjective here? Uh, you will find a glorious trophy, a, I missed Mosul's bits. Beckham Tech, I see you. Thank you. What a piece of pie. You should take some inspiration from How to Kill a Tangle Challenge. The final death, even though the death machine didn't really work. It was chaotic and fun. Maybe it Too much work. Way too much work. We're already spending a whole stream doing something that is completely unnecessary. Uh, commemorative. And adequate. 
Ravenous trophy. Yeah, I see what you did there. Prestigious. Trophy of tri Triumph. Uh, a triumphant trophy. Uh, also in your, uh, also with your, uh, deck of cards, you will find a triumphant trophy, uh, showcasing, demonstrating, uh, exemplifying, uh, uh representing your signifying. Your something, something celebrating, pancakeificating, <laughs> your triumphant trophy signifying your triumph over triumphant times in honor of your accomplishment. Yeah, triumphant trophy uh, in honor of your accomplishment. Please hang it in your decked out uh, I don't know what we call them locker room locker room with pride All right, we're gonna rework this now <laughs> uh, okay congratulations on defeating the gauntlet you may now enjoy a piece of victory cake also uh, with your deck of cards you will find a triumphant trophy in honor of your accomplishment, uh, uh, representing, uh, I don't like any of this. Congratulations with an S. Wow, that was from like 20 minutes ago, Pat. <laughs> I fixed that about three minutes ago. Might want to re refresh. Uh, also with your deck of cards rather than also. Oh, along with, yeah, that's better. Along with your deck of cards, you will find a triumphant trophy in honor of your accomplishment. Woo! Please hang it in your decked out locker room with pride. Good enough. And then on page 13, it's going to say we're done here. Go home. Okay. And now, uh, I will sign the book. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, do I want to put that on page two? They may not. I was trying to fit all the important stuff on page one. Yeah. Uh, gradually, you may. I want to make sure they know they're getting the trophy. Have a piece of cake. I assume they'll go to page two, right? Yeah. I guess we'll do the sign thing here. Uh, please. Uh, write your name on the wall. Uh, please take a sign. Take a sign from the chest and, uh, let everyone that follows you know that you were here before them. Something, something like that. Uh, please take a sign from the chest and let everyone know. Please let, please take a sign from the chest and let everyone that follows you know that you were here before them. I think that's fine. <clears throat> Writing is a struggle, yeah. Trophy is on the first page. Oh, Gemma's AFK. She just died. Oh well. <laughs> uh, and then we have to tell them to go die now. Everyone that follows you know you were here before them. The sentence feels a little bit weird, right? Now, please exit to your left. Uh, into the ultimate victory chamber. Which is just going to loop back into the first room. Uh, all right. Stormstriker, how you doing? 
You are now almost a dungeon master. Uh, no now. Oh, yep, thank you. Okay, please take a sign from the chest and let everyone that follows you know that you were here before them. It's obvious that they're supposed to write on the wall, right? I should probably say that. Please take a sign from the chest and uh, something inscribe your, inscribe your marking on the wall. On the wall. Uh, this is getting too wordy. Inscribe. Uh, inscribe your marking on the wall. Letting everyone know. It's too wordy and dumb. Letting everyone. Can't fit it. Is this. I thought there's more space down here. Why can't I? Is it just because this editor is dumb? I think it's just because the setter is dumb. On the wall, letting everyone that follows know you were here before them. Good. Okay. Please take a sign from the chest and inscribe your marking on the wall, letting everyone that follows know you were here before them. Good. Uh, now please exit to your left into the ultimate victory chamber. Congratulations on defeating the gauntlet. You may now enjoy a piece of victory cake. Along with your deck of cards, you will find a triumphant trophy in honor of your accomplishment. Please hang it in your decked out locker room with pride. I'm signing it. Are we good? Don't sign it just in case. Well, if I don't sign it, then they could change the text. Do I care? Probably not. Okay. Probably didn't bring enough quartz for this. Uh, oh, especially since I got to do the victory staircase. Ah, stupid. I understand how books work, noises. This room feels weird now. I don't have any black for that wall. Nah. Move the whole wall in. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, where the heck is the door? I mean, that is so hard to see. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, we got the ceiling too. Super fancy room. Do I have enough? I got enough. I get my course from the piglin bartering. Do need to restock because I've been using a lot of it lately. Okay, super fancy room of supreme victory. Dun, dun, right, dun, 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 dun. Good, good. Cake. Where where should the cake go? Cake can go right there. Can you still touch cake? He's still, but you can still touch cake.
noises. I know because it was. I thought it was easier to get the cake than it would be to trade for it. We will now be trading for it. Stupid cake. Can't believe I misclicked. Of all the times to misclick. All right. Uh, let's see. Impulse Eddie had cake. Uh, let's see if I can actually find my way in here. I'm gonna go around here, and we're gonna go right into here, and into here. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't with the with the walls. Uh, I think that's a what? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I walk into there, right? Should we go higher to drop in? I know it's the wall. <laughs> that was the cherry on top. I know. Should we should we go higher? Is that what we're saying? Uh, I need a texture pack for black concrete. I had it for the nether hub. I think that's... Oh, this is so disorienting. Okay, I need, I need more black concrete anyways. Turn gamma up. I don't even know where that setting is. This should be, uh, uh, let's see. Bork, bork, I know. Press G, what's G do? How is that? Important. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, mini hut light level. That helps. You're right. Absolutely. Okay. That has a little bit of help. Okay. I need some quartz stairs. Uh, this has got to be... There we go. Then we got to do... We got to do black here so that when you look up here, you don't see anything. Uh, and then we'll just have the white start right here. So many borks. <clears throat> oh, gamut is a mod now, not a setting. Okay. Okay. Stairs that ooh, we gotta go get some more black concrete. And and some I can make some quartz stairs here. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Breaky breaky. Super fancy room. I can't believe I misplaced the cake. Oh, and now we're out. Okay. What's the puppy noise from? Puppies. <laughs> the cake is the worst. Uh, all right, I need I need another stack of quartz and a few more pieces of black, and then we're done, right? It's obvious they will read this. They will go up here. Uh, oh, how do I how do I actually detect that they came here? Uh, the book. We put a put a comparator on the book. Pressure plate on the door. Yeah, pressure plate on the door is safer. Okay. Pressure plate on the door. Mm -hmm. uh, they could spam it a thousand times though and like give me more of these and then trade them to everyone, right? That's kind of lame. Oh, the chest with signs. Boop. Oh, yeah, I could spit an item onto a pressure plate and stuff down below. Yeah, we'll just do that. Five minute cooldown. They're not going to stay here for that time. Uh, I lost my iron door. That was cool. Hey, everybody, but we still got sugar. That's the important thing. 
Okay, so I need another iron door. Uh, and then we're good. Do I need to put a uh, exit? What did I, what did I call it in the book? Uh, ultimate victory chamber. <coughs> And we, need, and we need a cake. <sighs> okay. Iron door. Cake. Quartz. Black, uh, what do you call it? Black concrete. Right? Right, we're good. The redstone and stuff I'll hook up later. Where am I? Like a maze back here. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh. That was close. <laughs> Get a few cakes just in case. Yes. In fact, let's just let's cake up right now. Almost the party popper. What are my dogs losing their mind about? Board up bar. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like 17 cakes here. I think they're right around here somewhere. Gigapies, campfires, sink terracotta. Where are the cakes at? Oh, cakes aren't sortable anyways, right? Is that, is that how it works? Not stackable, yeah. Okay. We will acquire some emeralds and trade. And there's no emeralds. Emeralds, thank you. Okay, farmers. What do farmers look like? Uh, you got vision things. You're not a farmer. You do stone stuff. Straw hat. I don't even, we probably don't even have farmers here. Oh, we do. We got farmers right here. Okay. All right. Farmer up. Cake. Cake. Cake me. Cake me. That was so much harder. <clears throat> Cake. On we go. All the cake. Good thing we look for a cow and a chicken for 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Food. Hey, we could misplace all the cakes. Oh, I'm going to take one of those. Uh, all right. Black concrete, quartz. There's the. No, that's black wool. Oh, thank you for taking the slot. That's cool when you do that. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Good, good. Uh, black concrete. We want some for the sides. I'll take care of that off stream. Quartz. Yep. Uh, there was one more thing. There are four things. Iron door. That's it. Thank you. Iron door. Iron door. Good. <clears throat> Whoa. Little uh post rocket blastification there. <laughs> this room this room is insane. More chests? I mean, hey, if if 15 people beat this, then uh I've got bigger problems. Oh, that should probably also It'll be the chest that signals the thing, but it's also the chest. If they wanted to walk back out, they can, and it's good for me now. Um, fine. Okay. Uh, we're good there. The cake. We're going to click on the wall now. Can I not put cake on a scaffolding? If I hold shift? No, I can't put cake on scaffolding. What do, I, what do I put my cake on? 
Upside down stairs? <sighs> Stupid. Fine. Cake. There we go. Victory cake. This is where I fall in lava. Separate games or other dungeons to get some artifacts and use them somewhere else. Have you ever thought about a decked out being a dungeon mechanic in a separate game? Something like you have to go into these dungeons to get an artifact and use them. I don't know what that means here. Are you saying that they get their artifacts somewhere else? Okay, that's that. <clears throat> what flavor is the cake? Uh, it's it's happy fun time flavor with extra happy frosting. Okay, that seems bloop. Hearing lava. Okay, all this for a stupid little room. Uh, are we spawn proof here? We are spawn proof. <laughs> Can you imagine turn the corner creeper? Boom. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, are we done? <laughs> Tastes like winning. And then they leave back here. Raw, 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 raw. Dead. Can you see? Let's see what it feels like. Yeah, over here. I mean, you could definitely tell that's where you got to go. Oh, is there a crafting table in there? Thank you. Victory cake. Everything's good. Ultimate victory chamber. I think we're done. I think we're done here. Eh? Eh? Oh? Eh? Okay, good enough. Uh, we got to do the redstone. I'll do that off camera. And I've got to do the black thing here. How do they get in there? They run over here. They press that button. And they somehow evade the ravager that's chasing their face. And that'll open up this door for quite a long time. Replace that button with what? Why would I replace the button? Birch? Eh, it's fine. I mean, there's only two things in the room to see. The door, the door and the button. They're going to look around like you can't miss that button. I don't think so. I think it's fine. Place the door wrong. I don't understand this placing the door wrong thing. What, it, what are you talking about? It's right next to the pressure plate. How do you, how do you door wrong? Oh, was it like open or something or I don't know. It's fine. You think the button looks subtle? It does. But do you think people will actually miss it? Like. I don't even think if we went with a brighter button, like a birch, I don't think that's going to stand out much more anyway. So anyway, we'll see. I'll check later. Uh, okay. There's also the issue of getting a Ravager in here too. Yeah. Oh, they'll definitely miss it the first time, Bert. Yeah, they're going to miss it the first two or three times. First time they're going to call that. They're going to drop down and be like, oh, dead. Second time they're going to drop down and be afraid and be like, whoa, 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 and then they're going to die again. Third and fourth time, they might notice the door and or the button. We'll see. <clears throat> and then what's the name of the Ravager? I don't know. We'll still figure it out. We'll figure it out. And is the Ravager named intentional game design? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going with one Ravager in here. I think it's going to be plenty difficult given that it's black and everything. The end boss. Yeah. Intentional game design in brackets. Yeah, that's fine. I think that might work. Killed by the MacGuffin. <laughs> Killed by the Skadoodler. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're, we're done. I've been streaming for four hours again. Like, I, I just got to not do this with the, with the, yeah. Remember that time we made videos? That was a good time. All right, are we gonna let's raid somebody here? Because I didn't raid anybody yesterday because my brain was dumb yesterday. Uh, that here, mute that. We're gonna raid.
raid Cub. We're gonna raid Cub. We should have raided him yesterday. Raid Cub, a fan of the one, three, five. Boom. Is it working? It's working. Everybody go over and say hi to Cub. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for helping me with this. We got a little, we got some stuff done. Some stuff we didn't need to do. Uh, I was hoping to have a video tomorrow. That's not gonna happen because I got a lot of redstone to do. Uh, it may be out. It might be out on 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 Friday. It might be out on Limited Life Day. Who knows? Um, if not, it'll be on Saturday. I'll get it out as soon as I can. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you. Goodbye.